All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back on a Tuesday night again, since we've been doing Mondays for a couple of weeks. We did some Saturday shows. We're back to Tuesdays. It is I, Sheen, and my co-host. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself, my main man. I am Boxman, and you are sleeping, Shaheen. I am. I have to. I have to apologize to him on air because I fell asleep last night. But uh, I have a good excuse because Raw was so fucking bad. It was so. All right. Bad. All right. I, I'll let it go. And you know the funny thing is, if you look back at my Facebook matches, I actually put. I hope you didn't fall asleep. LOL. Yeah, I fell asleep right at the uh, Jay Uso and and Miz match. I figured it was right after you signed out of the chat. I didn't. I didn't even sign out. My, like I fell asleep, and my computer just, you know, died. Signed. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it was unplugged and died. And oh, all right. yeah. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get our plugs out the way, so we can just get into the wrestling. Yeah. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, facebookcom slash groups slash THT podcast. You can go to our website. HotTagPodcast.Weebly.com. You can join us on Twitter, uh, THT Podcast. You can join us on iTunes. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe on iTunes, matter of fact, because it's probably the easiest way to listen to us other than YouTube if we're going live. Um, iTunes, we're under THT Wrestling Podcast. And on YouTube, Turnbuckle Corner or THT Podcast. So go ahead and subscribe. Please go ahead and share. We're not asking for money. We're not asking for your fucking limbs. We're not asking for, uh, you know, any kind of donations. Just go ahead and share it. Share it with, you know, with anybody that you know that might enjoy it. Eh, help us get, a, get it out there. That's all. We got the plugs out the fucking way. Let's get into some wrestling. By the way, we're not asking for donations or anything, but we will accept them. Sure. Yeah, why not? But, uh, you know, this is, this is free for you guys. We put in time. But just go ahead and share it with other folks, man. That's all we ask. Always accept. Yeah. Well, I'm just posting up the live links in the old Facebook real quick so with that right. that you just mentioned. All right. And uh, man, I well, we were gonna talk about NXT first, so why don't we go ahead and get into that first? NXT Revolution, the Takeover special show, pay per view, whatever you may want to call it. That was on, and dude, I enjoyed every minute of that show, pay per view. Yeah. Again, whatever you want to call it. Is it a pay-per-view? Can you call it? A, you can't really call it a pay-per-view, I guess. I uh, no, because that's not actually. A, it it's actually not a pay-per-view. That right. that that would be a a a network special. How how's right. it? Well, the the NXT network special was was fantastic. Um, Kevin Owens. I'm sorry, folks. I'm gonna sound like a fucking Andy Mark. It's gonna be hard for me to stop saying Kevin Steen, but I'm 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 working on it. Um, yeah, Kevin Owens made his debut, and he went against C.J. Parker. Um, I've already kind of talked about this on the last episode with Tony Rufo, which you can check out. It was two days ago that we did a Sunday night edition. Um, go ahead and check that out. It's not going to be the same same uh, topics as this one. We talked about the indie wrestling a lot, you know, CZW and Ring of Honor, so you can check that out. But uh, what did you think of this since I've already kind of talked about it? I thought this was a fucking great show. Um um, I I liked Kevin Owens coming out. Guy looked good. Definitely trimmed down a good amount from what from the, from when I've seen him <clears throat> in ROH. Um, not uh, th th that was a great match by the way. And damn, what a what a break for him. He goes in the ring for his first time in a you know quote unquote WWE NXT whatever it is. It's all WWE anyway. And a WWE ring and gets cut open. Yeah. He got cut bad with that palm strike. Yeah, a lot of people say he broke his nose. Apparently he didn't. But, uh... It, uh yeah, you can tell his nose wasn't broken uh, at the end when he came out uh, with Zayn. He didn't have the old uh, the old black eyes. He would have got those quick from that. Right. But um, the other guy, uh, CJ Parker, took a picture on Twitter with his hand cut wide open, so... I don't know what happened. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what happened. A lot of people assumed that it was that you know Kevin Owens was a, a Samoan or something, and he had a hard head. I don't think that's the case. Um, he clearly had to hit his teeth to to you know 
cut his hand open, I think. Other than the teeth, I can't really imagine anything else cutting him open. But There you go. Could have got it on his teeth, and then, you know, maybe because of that, obviously a, a nail got Owens in the face, uh, right at the bridge of the nose. But yeah. uh, Cut your nails, you fucking hippie. <laughs> that... I'm not even going to get into how bad that bad that guy's gimmick is. I'm just going to talk about. I'm going to try to remain positive because it was a good show. So the whole thing is, I'm, I'm I'm one of those holistic people. I'm I'm into nature and all that kind of stuff, man. But that that gimmick is ah, I don't know, man. I'm not really digging it. And the guy's not really really good. He's 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 yeah. in, but I mean exactly. He he's not. I I hate white guys with dreadlocks. I'm sorry. If you have dreadlocks, uh, stop listening to this. <laughs> I do discriminate against white folks with uh, dreadlocks. There you go. Just don't even bother. But um, if it's the Jamaicans and stuff. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. Doesn't bother me. Nothing bothers me really. I just, 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 just make sure I got weed and I'm good. Yeah, but it just looks douchebaggy, man. You remember uh, like Joey Matthews when he had dreadlocks in TNA? Look like a moron. Yeah, him. Um. Tyler Rex from WWE. Yeah, Facade has him. I don't know if you know him. Mm -mm. Yeah, he's an indie wrestler. Facade, he has him. He, pretty, he looks like a moron. Um, I probably shouldn't say that. But. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably have him on the show one day. And he'll cuss yeah. you out. Anyway. Um, <laughs> um, Speaking of that, let me go ahead and just say this. For any uh, CZW fans, any indie wrestling fans, we are going to have a uh, CZW wrestling star. Uh, Devin Moore on the show next week, so we're gonna have an interview with him. Um, you know, he's, he he was around uh, John Moxley, aka Dean Ambrose, when he was in CZW. They were like, uh, you know, they were road buddies. They they hung out a lot, so it's good stuff, man. I'm sure I'm sure he has a lot of interesting stuff to to tell us. Nice. We'll get a little uh, we'll get a banner made and start to start getting that out there uh, today or tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. So he'll he'll be on next Tuesday at eight o'clock. Nice. Good work, Shaheen, starting to book some guests for us. There we go, man. Yeah, we should have some uh, CZW people, some some other independent wrestling folks. I don't I don't want to get, you know, too many names out in case people drop out and it doesn't happen. I don't want to Yeah. Get, can't but uh yeah, definitely definitely some interesting stuff to look forward to, so. Let's get our interview skills up and then we'll start getting bigger people. Yeah. I I honestly I don't really I don't care, man. I I'd rather talk to the people that have like, I don't know, like talking to somebody like like Devin Moore. Like I've already heard, you know, most of the wrestling legends and stuff. Talking to guys like that, I like I'd rather hear about, you know, what it feels like to go through fucking a thousand light tubes than than hear another, you know, uh, yeah. interview with with somebody that already did five RF videos and and all that shit, you know. Yeah, and plus, I mean, you support the hell out of you know because you got so much indie wrestling around you, so why not? Right. Plus, you know, they're they're good guys, man, and you know we can promote their shit out. Um, he's gonna be on Pro Wrestling Syndicate coming up. That show is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be in Rahway, New Jersey, on Saturday. Check that out. They're gonna have AJ Styles against uh, Rob Van Dam. Hmm. So nice. Never know. Maybe maybe I'll go. I don't know. Cool. Sounds like a good show, man. Yeah. Well, back back to NXT. This is this is actually what we did on Sunday. We started talking about NXT, and it took us about an hour to finish NXT because we just we went from NXT to Bruiser Brody to Bam Bam Bigelow to uh, God knows. Yeah, it happened. All right, I'll try to, all right, I'll stick to NXT. We'll go to the next match real quick. I mean, there was only six matches. We're just gonna breeze through them, and then we'll get into TLC, and then I don't know. We're gonna try to breeze through because I mean, there's really not a lot to dwell on. It, it, it the 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 most of it will speak for itself. Right. Uh, Next match was uh, Lucha Dragons versus the VOD Villains. And Are you looking at the VOD Villains? I actually like the gimmick. I don't know how it will translate on the big stage of Raw. But, yeah, um, that's, that's the big question. Of the... It is. It, 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 it seems to be the big question with a lot of gimmicks that come out of NXT. How are they going to translate? Um, Adam Rose ring a bell. Uh, yeah, I mean he translated like shit. Yeah, exactly. Um, so 
I don't know. I mean, I do like the gimmick. I think it's cool. It's obviously it's a throwback, and I like it. Those two guys fit the gimmick very well. I really enjoy the entrance. I think that's my favorite part, the vignettes and the, and the entrance. I don't particularly think they're you know amazing in the ring or anything. They are they're decent, but uh, their entrance is is awesome. The whole black and white thing. Um, it, it makes you feel like you're in the 40s and 50s, man. I don't know. It's 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 something different. It's unique. Yeah, I mean, it was uh, definitely good. So, I mean, yeah, it definitely unique. Definitely, it, like you said, there it, it was a decent match. The Lucha Dragons did, you know, flippy floppies, and uh, you know, it, it was good. It, it's it's good to see some of the high flying Lucha style in WWE at all. Because you don't, I mean, we don't really see it much on television anymore on Raw. So right. See it. I actually, I I'm really digging the Lucha Dragons, man. I hope that they make it to Raw soon, cause uh, they're a good tag team, and I think we're missing, you know, that 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 a couple good tag teams in the in the tag team division on, on the on the main roster. Well, I mean, they're bringing up the Ascension. True. Oh wait, you said good tag teams. Honestly, I like them. I like the Ascension, man. I'm sorry. I like them. But I noticed on SmackDown, they were suddenly a lot more LOD, Road Warrior-like, when they're usually not. Well, if you saw the vignettes last night, dude. I did. I mean, it's... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was waiting, you know, I mean, I was waiting for... Uh, what a rush. Yeah, man. Oh God! I wish I could hear that again. Anyway, yeah, uh, awesome man. Hulk is awesome. I know, man. There was that match. Uh, Baron Corbin, Ty Dillinger. Uh, quick match. I'm not going to spend any time in it. Uh, Kevin Smith. I mean, Bull Dempsey. He was, does like Kevin Smith. <laughs> he does, especially in his street clothes. He was standing there, and I'm like, I'm telling y'all, it's fucking Silent Bob. Yeah. Are, are you liking uh, Baron Corbin? That guy is fucking huge. He's big. He's he's a goofy-looking motherfucker, but he's definitely big. I, he'll definitely... I'm not really sure how good he is in the ring because the match was only 40 seconds, but this, you know, this might all be exactly their plan, so, you know, until he gets better, but... Uh, yeah, his, his matches are only. It's it's funny how the crowd actually counts down when his match starts. Yeah, they stopped counting at what twenty twenty one here. They were like twenty twenty one. Yeah, it got repetitive. I yeah. like it, man. I'm I'm loving the NXT crowd, man. It's like a, it's like a, it's almost like an indie crowd, which NXT is pretty much like an indie with a good production. It's a well produced indie show. Is exactly what it is, but um. Yeah, you're 100% right. But uh, then we go to this match. This match we may spend a minute or two on. Um, Hideo Itami and Finn Balor against the Ascension. I want to start with Finn Balor's entrance. <clears throat> may I just say, as eloquent as I will say it, holy fuck, that was awesome. It was. Great fucking entrance. They made this guy out to be the biggest star that NXT is going to produce, and I think he might be. Um, I like him. He's, you know, he, he's got some cool moves in the ring, but uh, the entrance really made him stand out from everybody else. My only problem <clears throat> is Hideo. I think, and I might get shit for saying this, I think... Kenta Hideo might end up being their next Dolph Ziggler. What do you mean by that? I mean the guy takes great bumps. The guy sells well, but I'm not sure if they're going to push him to the top. I, I just, I got a, I, I don't, I don't know, man. Dude, I mean, I could, I could have told you that a year ago. I mean, I'm, I'm positive they're not going to push him to the top. Absolutely, but he changed his whole style. He teased the GTS, and the crowd went nuts. Didn't do it. So, I mean, if uh, if he, I mean, if they take all his moves away, I'm not sure he's just another 
another Asian guy that doesn't speak English in WWE. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, all he's doing is is stiff kicks right now. Right, and um, um, and him with Finn Balor might not be the best thing because obviously Finn's gonna outshine him every time, which you know. I well, kinda... he's gonna overshadow him, but I think right. honestly, keeping him in that tag team is a good idea because he kind of. He kind of he's kind of elevating uh, Kento a little bit because imagine if Kento wasn't with him in a tag team right now, Kento really wouldn't be too interesting. Well, I mean, uh, you know, uh, uh, don't know. They might have come up with something good for him. We don't know. I mean, I, based on their on on their previous acts like Hakushi and and Funaki, I mean, eh, we kind of know what would have happened. I liked Hakushi. I loved Hakushi. All right, well, don't be fucking with Hakushi, man. I love Hakushi, but he never got pushed. That's what I mean. No, well, he got a little push, and then you know, whatever. But yeah, you're right. He was pretty much just a bad art. But I mean, he never got a title. He was never in, you know. Uh, yeah. Name one Asian guy that's that's been in the title scene and like the main event scene. I don't think I can. Yeah, it never happened. No. But... Well, Yokozuna, but he was Samoan. I mean, well, yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, this was a great match, though. You know, I, I I can't say anything bad about the match except I I don't like this the 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 foot stomp. I don't like the double stomp. It looks botched every time. It never looks right. It's just me, man. I just don't like the move. Yeah. Especially I'll... after seeing what was it, uh, Paul London. Yeah. When he hit, what's his name with that? Oh my God. I mean, I, I don't know, man. It, it seemed like in New Japan he was pulling it off better because over there I guess you can be a little bit more stiff. Yeah. And over here I guess he's he's trying to be so careful of not really landing on the guy that it you know it looks sloppy every time. But I, I don't really know how I feel about that move. I don't think it should be a finisher because it – I mean, you're just landing on the guy's back really and you're barely tapping his back. It's not – I don't know. I don't, I, I don't really don't, don't want to form an opinion on it because – I don't know. I guess I got to see where it goes, but it's, it it might grow on me. But for now, it's not really anything crazy. Yeah, but uh, we got new champs out of this match. But let's let's talk about let's talk about Finn Balor for a little bit, though. Okay, let's keep going. I said spend time on it. So let's go. Rufo and I were talking about it, and and we came up with this because a lot of people are, are are comparing him to to Jeff Hardy. Do you do you see that resemblance? Um, face paint, body paint. No, I don't. I mean that's it though. Yeah, I and I, I I don't see it in the ring style. I think it's definitely a you know total 180 on ring style. I mean just because they wear paint, I'm tired of all this. Uh, yeah, Eric uh, Eric Young, you know, copied Daniel Bryan with the beard. Eric Young had the beard before Daniel Bryan. Everything pe people find little things to just compare people to. It's ridiculous. Well, the whole Eric Young thing, the, the 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 reason that people were comparing that to Daniel Bryan wasn't necessarily because of the beard. It was because they were they were pushing a guy out of nowhere, similar to Daniel Bryan, and and having him, you know, hold the title, and it just happened to be another guy with a beard. I think that's. But it was probably also taped four weeks in advance, so. Right. Well. So, you know, did they? You know, that that's what no one kept bringing up is that. Forgetting that they taped their show four to six weeks in advance, so wasn't that show a live one though? Because they uh, used to do some live ones. It, the one like two weeks before it was a live show. I could swear that the show that he won the title was a live one. No, nah, they did some. Uh, it was like a week or two before that. They did do a live show right before it, but that wasn't live because that was a spoiler. I remember everybody was. Well, that wouldn't surprise me. That's, that's that's a stupid TNA move as usual. You would yeah. think that you know they have a they have a live taping two weeks ago. Why not do the title change then? You know, on a live show, surprise people. You know, flood the internet, get the hashtags going. No, but they want to go ahead and do it. You know, fucking four weeks before they show it on on, on television and have the spoilers on everywhere. And, just typical TNA stuff, man. I just that I don't know. Even though that's like a year and a half ago, uh, just just hearing that again just irritates me. Yeah. So, I don't know, but uh, yeah, I I I, I like this, but uh, I brought that up to say this, um, and and, and I want to credit Rufo because he actually said this. You know, when 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 Finn comes out, and I try to not call him Prince David. 
when Finn comes out, he every time, first of all, he, he has a different uh, character that he's kind of taken on, right? Mm -hmm. Whether it's one time the Joker, and I'm sure he's not going to use the Joker and Spider-Man and, and all that stuff, but uh, you know, so maybe one time he'll come out as a lizard, and, and you'll see him like slither around. He takes on the character. It's not just random body art like uh, Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy, man, this guy just takes a couple dabs of acid and starts painting on himself just some random shit that he thinks is creative and comes out and claims he's some crazy artist that you know and all this weird shit. There's nothing wrong with that, by the way. No, but it's 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 uh, what I'm saying is it's nothing like like what Finn is doing. Finn is actually uh, painting himself as a different gimmick and he's he's acting as that gimmick. So whether it's a it's a fucking predator or Spider Man or whatever, he actually acts like that thing. I mean, yeah, he came out as as, as Hannibal he came out as a Joker. You know, the, the video is on YouTube. You guys can go and check it out. But uh, yeah, I I think this guy has a lot of potential, man. And uh, yeah, I I def like I said, they really. I mean, with the entrance they gave him, he came out. The whole place was fogged up. It was kind of like you know, for a minute there, I'm like, is he dressed up as the Boogeyman? Which I'm a fan of the Boogeyman. So I love the Boogeyman. Wrong. But um, bring him back, man. I I love the Boogeyman. I, th I think he's like in his mid forties. That's probably th they had him back uh, during Halloween to do some. Yeah. Stuff. <laughs> I remember that. scaring people in the elevator. Yeah, they had him back for a while, but um, I don't know, man. But yeah, I, I I definitely loved the entrance. It was big. It was it was special. It made him seem really like here's our next star, you know. And you know we're giving him this entrance, and yeah, the body paint was awesome. And you're right, it does get into the character. He had the headdress on, friggin' dangly tentacles or whatever they were. Yeah, I yeah, loved. I, I loved. It. I definitely enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I I just I hope that uh, Hideo Itami doesn't get lost in the shuffle. I mean, I, I like the guy, man. If you watch his stuff in Ring of Honor in New Japan, uh, it's it's. You know, obviously much better matches because, you know, he's off the leash. But yeah. I'm hoping that, you know, they, they, they let him loose a little bit because, you know, obviously watching Kevin Steen come in, you know, he was doing some of the stiff stuff that he used to do on the indies, and they actually let him do it. So uh, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. I I wouldn't be surprised if they let him start doing the pile driver. I don't know about that one. I, I don't know, man. Undertaker or Kane, I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I was thinking, man. And then you know, Tony was talking, and and, and he said that it wouldn't surprise him if, if they do the power driver. And I've been thinking about it, man. I don't know. I feel like Triple H really likes like Steen and, and all these guys, and it it almost feels like Triple H is is about to take over soon. So I'm I'm hoping we're gonna see these guys off the off the leash a little bit. Because uh, the way he came in, man, he, he was aggressive as ever, you know? And uh, I mean, obviously, you, you look at somebody like, like Hideo Itami, he's certainly, you know, calmed down as far as his, his style, and he's, he's more laid back, and uh, it's pretty much just, just kicks. But, uh, yeah, Steam came out, and he was very much similar to his, his style in uh, Ring of Honor and anything else, you know, except for the pile driver. And, and that, but that's what worries me about Hideo. He's really backed off his style... And like I said, when he teased the GTS, the crowd went fucking nuts. Yeah, you know, and then he got you know the kick and whatever. But I, I'm just watching him, you know, take bumps and sell. He has some. He reminds me of Ziggler. He looks like he got killed with every hit. Yeah, and uh, I'm um it it worries me a bit. Yes, I know they're giving Ziggler a push now, but look how long it took. And and look how many people had to get injured for him to get a get a push. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if, yeah. you, if, you, if, if CM Punk was around, Daniel Bryan was around, and Roman Reigns wasn't injured for a couple months, and, you know, Brock Lesnar wasn't on this fucking crazy-ass contract that he's on, and Undertaker had to leave, and all this shit, Ziggler would not be getting a push. Probably not. No, he would be on, on WWE main event against Titus O'Neil and shit like that. So yeah. Probably. So he's actually very lucky. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate a couple people got injured and uh, you know a couple people left. But yeah, hey, it is what it is, man. That's that's the wrestling business. Some people leave, new people bloom. And you know what? The guy's over with the crowd, Ziggler. Yeah. So why not push him? Why not just let him go? If he gets hurt, he gets hurt. Leave him the fuck alone. 
Yeah. That brings us to the next match, which I never thought I'd say this, but god damn, this woman's match with Charlotte and Sasha Banks was fucking good. Yeah, I didn't I didn't watch it, so. It was actually fucking good. Charlotte is good. Yeah, she's she's decent. Last match I, I watched of her was the one that she uh, botched the moonsault, so. Yeah, but I mean, who would have thought, you know, out of all the flares, the girl <laughs> the girl gets the talent. <laughs> Do you think do you think Ric Flair is pissed off at uh at his sons? Well, at his son now, I guess. Probably not. And oh, David Flair, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Look, David Flair was doing Stacy Keebler for a while. Dude, David Flair sucked. He was. How can you yeah. not have a little respect for him for that? Oh God, he was, he was garbage, man. Listen, I didn't say he was a good wrestler. He did have some funny, funny moments in WCW, though. Yeah, I mean, he was in the hardcore thing for a while, and wasn't he coming out like a, like a fucking, like a crackhead or something? His eyes were all bloodshot and, and fucking, I don't know what he was doing, but I remember his eyes were always like uh, fucked up. He looked like he hadn't slept for days. It was him, Crowbar, and Daphne. They were always running around acting crazy. Right. It was some of the funniest stuff they ever did. Yeah. Yeah, Crowbar, man. That's that's another guy that's really good in the ring and never really uh got to do much. He he's a physical therapist, by the way. And I think it's around here. Yeah, probably. No, 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 no. That's not who it is. Sean Stasiak is in Dallas as a chiropractor. Didn't he just pass away? No, no. Meet Sean Stasiak. Right. Who just passed away? I thought it was Sean Stasiak. No. Um, Wasn't his partner? Yes. Sean O'Hare. Sean O'Hare. There you go. Yeah, he... Uh, apparent suicide. I don't think I've read anything else about that. Um, anyway, let's not dwell on that. Let's go to the final main event of... Where to go? Where to go? This is the main event of the evening! Yeah. Yeah, of NXT. It was. How Sam, many? How many stars, man? Go ahead. First this, off, how many stars? Dude, this match gets fucking twelve out of ten. Ah, awesome. Uh, this match was amazing. To, I mean, Adrian Neville does some stuff that is very unnecessary. Like, stop flipping off your head. We know you can do it. So now stop. Yeah, I don't mind it. I don't know. He's it's, just going off, man. He's athletic. He's, you know, probably right. missed or something. I don't know. I know. You're ripped. You got a fucking 12-pack. I, I don't Whatever. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Let's let's try to remain positive. The, uh, the match was great. Unbelievable. Tons of, you know, false finishes. You know, just... What a fucking match, in my opinion. I, 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 I can't find anything bad to say about it. Man, the way they told the story. What a few. I mean, they've built this up for months. This is how you build up a few WWE. It's such a shame that it's in the same fucking company. We got some of the best wrestling and some of the worst. And it just it, it boggles my mind, man. I just I don't fucking get it. Yeah. I don't get it. Why is your, you know, D show the fucking the the better show than the A show? It just it doesn't make sense. I don't get it. This is uh, show. show. You got to realize that this is like their D show. That's what I said. D show. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said B. No, D B. You know, sounds the same. But oh. yeah, you know, me and my uh, D pass voice. So it, it's the internet. Well, we're gonna blame the internet. Yeah. There you go. But uh, yeah, man, I. Fucking love the match, man. It was it was so good. Nothing was botched. Everything Nothing. was on point. The chemistry, the timing, everything was awesome. The only thing I'm worried about is the fact that Sami Zayn just this guy got too excited and marked out and and started just cursing his ass off, man. This guy was just screaming, oh. Fuck. "Come on, motherfucker! I'm gonna fuck you up!" I'm like, "Oh my god, dude! You're about to get the title. What are you doing? You gotta go next." So the, the last five minutes of NXT was just just pretty much blurred out. 
Uh, it was fine. I, you know what? I, I did hear a couple holy shit chants get let through, though. Yeah, I mean, they they let those through. We got yeah. the DLC. Okay. But uh, this guy, he was he was screaming, you know, he was screaming on top of his lungs. You could read it. You could read his mouth. And oh. he was dropping f bombs left and right, man. You could pretty much. I was going. This is about what I would say. You know what, though? Who cares? This is fucking real. This is what you would say if if you were in a fight with somebody, though. This is what happens. You lose fucking control. You start cursing. You start saying shit like he said. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Reality? Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I loved it. I just don't want the guy to get in trouble and get deep pushed. I, 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 I don't think it'll hurt him one bit. Remember, do you... I, you know, Triple H used to curse when he came down to the ring too. Yeah, so, he's he's in a suit now. Well, that's now, but uh, you know, he, I, I really don't think Triple H is going to forget where he came from. I, I think this show right here should kind of, you know, let everybody know this. He may be actually ready to take over. So let's hope he does. But. Um, you know, Sami Zayn finally wins. The locker room clears out. There was a long celebration. Yeah. And then I loved what they did with Owens. Now, before we get into the ending, okay, you have guys that are going to, I don't want to say most likely, because, you know, I, I, I wish him the best, but somebody that might have a chance of getting lost in the shuffle is, is Adrian Neville. First of all, because of his accent. Second of all, he's not good on the mic. And third of all, because of his, his looks. I mean, he, he, he looks great. He has a 12-pack, but his ears and his, his facial features, you know, I'm guessing Vince McMahon is probably not going to push that guy as, as the next Cena, you know. So that's that's my only worries with the guy, man. I mean, he's, he's fucking awesome in the ring. I have no problem with him, you know. I asked for a wrestler. You brought me a baby Dumbo? There you go. What is this crap, pal? A wrestler? You mean a sports entertainer? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wrestling is, is taboo. You bring me a baby Dumbo? Yeah, man. I, I don't know, man. I, I wish the guy the best, though. But yeah, ending of the match, uh, you know, Kevin Owens came out, hugged uh, Sami Zayn. God damn it! See, I have to say, uh, every time, I, cause I have to think of their fucking, you know, current names. It's so annoying, man. It is so annoying. Why can't he just come out as Kevin Steen and make it all easy for us? I just call him Steen and Generico. Everybody else still yeah, does it's it. It's so much easier. That's what I've been used to for almost, you know, seven, eight years, man. It's hard to just translate over and Sami Zayn and, and uh, Kevin Owens. But yeah. uh. They, they hugged it out, and, and they hugged the hell out of each other <laughs> to the point he, he hugged them so hard that he busted himself open again, which I thought was was hilarious. Yeah, but god damn, he, then he slams him oh, yeah. on the ground with a power. Then he that power bomb on the ring apron looked like it fucking hurt. Dude, that, that looked like it sucked. You heard it. I mean, you oh. heard the thud. It wasn't like a bump. It was a thud. Yeah, that's what they used to do, man. That's that's why I I marked out for that, man. That's like one of those moments that I marked out for in the last couple of years, because uh, watching their matches. I don't know if you're familiar with their matches back in the day, but Absolutely. you know, yeah, they they do a lot of that. You know, they uh, the stuff on the apron. You know, a lot of the stiff ass fucking power bombs and stuff on the apron was was originally with with El Generico and Kevin Steen. You know, now yeah. everybody in PWG Pro Wrestling Gorilla, now everybody does it, but yeah, yeah. Steen. They, they used to do it, man. They, they were some of the first guys that did it. Yeah, Steen laid them out, and then I I, I just I, I thought it was – I mean, they are pushing – obviously, they're going to push push Owens, Steen, whoever he is, right to the fucking title scene. Yeah, they should. They are, obviously. I mean, he went out there. He debuted in match one, and by match – the end of match six – he was attacking the champion, obviously right into the title picture. Wow. I wouldn't even mind that, dude. If 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 that's not showing that they're gonna put some time and money into you, then I'm not sure what is. I am surprised he came out with uh, the same outfit he used to use on, on the Indies, because it's basically I, basketball shorts and a t-shirt. Yep, and I like the name. 
I like that, you know, the whole KO thing. I know uh, Cassius Ono or uh, Chris Hero tried to use it and didn't get it over, but uh, yeah, well, it looked right on a guy like Kevin Owens, man. It looked right on him, and it came out, and crowd was chanting, fight Owens, fight, and uh, they uh, didn't miss a beat, man. Dude, and, and you know what I love the most, and I'm sure a lot of people probably didn't pick up on this, but when, when uh, Steven Regal came out, and, you know, he, he looked legit shocked, you know. And uh, he was selling it. He was surprised. And he was yelling at Owens. And I love the fact that Owens didn't even look at him in the eye not once. He looked nope. like he was a fucking zombie. You know, he just walked right through. He looked like he was hypnotized, you know. I loved it, man. I think I think he's gotten much better as far as, you know, his uh, like his, his characters and, and stuff like that, you know, building a gimmick. I think it's gotten much better because on the indies, you don't really need much of a gimmick. I mean, you know, pe people usually go out there and just, just watch a bunch of crazy spots, and they're happy with that. So, uh, I mean, there's a lot of gimmicks, but don't get me wrong. There, most of them are comedy gimmicks, but... Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I thought this was a great network special. Oh, yeah. The best one, hands down. Best NXT uh, takeover so far. Yep, NXT takeover R Evolution. R. Yeah, I mean, honestly, dude. Other than WrestleMania, this was the best show this year, hands down. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I can't argue that. No, I, it. I don't know how they're gonna top it next show, but I mean, don't get me wrong. Like Ring of Honor and stuff. That Ring of Honor last year, I forgot what it was called. Uh, God damn it, I ordered it too. I, f I forgot what it was called. But uh, the Adam Cole and Jay Briscoe, I mean, that was that was right up there with uh, NXT Revolution. But it's, I'm, I'm just talking about WWE period. Um, WWE wise, man, that one of the best shows. Yeah, it was awesome. I loved it. I thought it was great. It went by quick. I, I mean, at the end of it, I was like, holy shit, it's over already? Yeah. Yeah, I... Didn't even feel like it was a whole hour fifty nine. Yep. And thing on the network though, there were two, there were two NXT takeover our evolutions down there to choose from, and I chose the first one. Blah blah. I get to the end of the uh, Neville match, Neville and uh, uh, Sami Zayn, and it won't show me the end of the match. It cut. Like, it wouldn't do it. I kept going back and forth. Finally, you know, I went to the other one, and it showed me everything. It's like, what the fuck? You know why? Because the network sucks? No. Why? Because uh, Sami Zayn was cursing. Well, they still had the other one. Maybe there was a... Oh, so they pulled a stone cold. Yeah, they put the, like, the, you know, the, the parental guidance on there. Well, they they just cut the whole show off. They didn't show the win. They didn't show the celebration. They didn't show the Steen moment. Yeah, when you when you go home, check it out again. I guarantee you, it says that's like the PG version, and you know the other ones like the hmm. one with the guidance or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, I got to see the whole match, and I I I fucking loved it. Well, loved it. We are kind of uh, we got a lot to discuss, man. We got TLC and we still got a uh, Raw and we got SmackDown going over here. So let's just jump right into TLC because we're all. Uh, um, right. I'm looking at it. Ziggler. Ziggler and Harper. Yep. Uh, thought it was a good way to start. Fucking right into the action. Um, very strange. I saw a lot of hatred for this match. This match is boring. This match sucks. What? Dude, I, I was in the chat, and you should have seen everybody in there tearing this match apart. Why, man? Why? Were they watching the same match that I was watching? Like, I don't know. That's why I posted on Facebook. You know, these guys worked their asses off. And, and let, me, let me just go ahead and say this, dude. Go ahead. I, I get a lot of complaints from people saying that I complain too much. Yeah. This is one of the matches that I'm putting over. If, if you didn't like this and I like this, I probably should stop watching wrestling, I guess. That match was amazing. Yeah, if you don't like that, dude, I don't, you're not going to like anything else. So. No, I loved this match. These guys were cut hard way. They were cut up all over. Uh, 
barbed wire match, man. Fucking Harper was cut in his in his uh in his arms. He was cut underneath his his armpit. This was the first time I've seen a guy bleed from his armpit. Yeah, this guy was bleeding from and 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 his back. You know, he was bleeding from some weird spots, but oh yeah, he, and he got staples in his head. Yeah, these guys worked their asses off. You can say, oh, whatever. It, this was a good match, and I don't care. Like I said, I'll say it again. These guys worked the fuck at their fucking asses off. I mean, amazing. Yeah, they, they worked the fuck the fucking asses they off. They worked the fuck, fuck, the fucking <laughs> asses off. Yeah. But uh, honestly, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and come up with a conspiracy theory real quick, right? Conspiracy theory. All right. Well... I have a feeling, not that I have a feeling, I mean, uh, Dave Meltzer reported this, that, you know, they they were not mad at NXT for being so fucking good, which is ridiculous. I mean, they're mad at the people for going out there and working their ass off. Like, what do you want them to do? Just go out there? Like, what, what does that mean? Step it up, dude. If you're fucking 40 and, it's, and still in the ring and can't get it done like Big Show and, and Kane, retire. Don't be mad at the, at the, at the 30-year-olds that are working their ass off and... And they're what you used to be in your prime. You know what I mean? What do you, what do you want them to do? I, I don't get that. I really don't get that whole fucking, uh, I, I, don't, I don't get it. But anyway, um, I guess, you know, the, the, the WWE, the main roster, wanted to show off their skills at TLC. And I'm guessing that they let, you know, Harper and, uh, and what's his name, Ziggler off the leash a little bit. Because they didn't really cut away from the blood too much. They actually got a couple of shots of the blood. Like, you know, kind of zoomed in it on it even. But I'm going to go ahead and say this, man. All of it was a hard way, but I think Ziggler cut himself uh, as far as his forehead. I don't know, man. He hit that ladder when he went down. I, I, I saw when that was. He did hit that ladder with his head. Right, but if, if you watch, man, he, he, he got cuts on his nose from the ladder also. But yeah. it was right at his hairline, and he and if you watch it again... He does the same, the old thing that, that Ric Flair used to do, you know, like cover his head and, and cut himself. You can almost see him cutting himself if you watch it. He might have. Maybe there's maybe there's a surprise. I don't know, man. Yeah, man, let, let these guys cut themselves, man. I'll be the first to go out there. Everybody's against it. Fuck it. You know what? Go out there and cut yourself, dude. Do it. It's, it's entertaining. You know what, dude? It's their body. I mean, if they want to do I mean, if they want to do it, who, why stop them? I wouldn't. If they wanted to. I mean, I'm sure they, they, they do blood tests. Well, I, I, I can see their argument would be, well, if one guy does it, everyone's going to think they have to do it to get over. No, do it every five months. Every now and then. A TLC pay-per-view is a good time to do it. A Hell in a Cell pay-per-view is a good time to do it. A right. fucking Extreme Rules pay-per-view is a good time to do it. There you go. Rest of the year, don't show me any unless it happens hard way. Yeah, maybe at WrestleMania do it once. That's it. Four for year. Maybe. But uh I, I enjoyed it, man. This match was fucking hard to watch, dude. It was stiff. These guys botched a couple of spots, I guess. And uh they paid for it, man. I mean you look at Harper, you look like it came out of a fucking barbed wire match out of FMW, man. This guy was cut the hell up. Yeah, these guys were fucking great, these man. These guys were fucking great, man. Man, you look like you, you got in a fucking uh, gang brawl with a bunch of Puerto Ricans in the 80s in Brooklyn. Yeah, they were be huge. They yeah, were they were huge. They, they were oh. Yeah, he was cut, dude. But uh, this this match was awesome, man. I, I loved it. Um, <laughs> it is just kind of silly watching all these doctors and paramedics just stand next to these guys while they walk around because they're bleeding. <laughs> it's just like, come on, man. The guy can't even move around with you guys surrounding him. You know, there's like six paramedics and, and two wrestlers, you know. Dolph kept waving. Kind of looks silly. Dolph kept waving. Them. Yeah, yeah, I liked it, man. He pushed them off and climbed the ladder. They were, they were going to clean up his wound and everything. Yeah. It was Are you there? Yeah. It was good. He did notice that he was doing. He did notice that he was doing. Oh, you're yeah. Gonna need, oh, you're going to need. What happened? I can hear myself again. I can hear myself again. Yeah, you tuned out for a second too. I can hear myself in the background. I can hear myself in the background again. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. You're tuning out. Uh oh, what happened? No, I'm here. No, I'm here. All right. Are you still there? Because I can't hear you. 
Hold on. Well, anyway. Hold on. Until we get better reception. Uh, I think the ne <clears throat> the next match was Miz and Mizdow against the Usos. So you got me back. You got me back. Yeah, I got you back. All right, but I can hear All myself. Right, I can hear myself. I don't know why nothing's changed. This is what happened last. This is what week. happened last week. Hold on one second. All right. Hey, what'd you do there? Well, we can't just sit here with dead ear. So I'm not sure if anybody can still hear me. But uh, he was... Uh, he was... Oh. Oh. Still got an echo back there. He was right. The next match, though, was... The Usos and Miz and Mizdow. Boy. Why don't, you, why don't you go ahead and talk about this for a couple minutes? Let me go ahead and get uh, some some new headphones and see if that helps. Okay, I will. All right, so while Shaheen is trying to find some headphones and see if that fix what's going on, uh, let's see. Yeah. Um, let's see. Miz and Mizdow. This wasn't horrible. I liked it. Um, you know, we want Mizdow chance pretty much from the beginning. Um you know, definitely, you know, it, it was a decent match. The Usos always put on a damn good match. Um, Mizdow always makes it fun to watch, if you ask me. I mean, the guy's jumping around like a fucking madman taking bumps that he really doesn't even have to. So I just hope Mizdow gets like a real big push after this for dealing with this role. Uh, I, I do realize, yeah, I know he's on TV every week, blah, blah, but... Uh, I hope he gets something good out of this for uh, for doing what he's doing. So, uh, you know, it, it was a good match. Uh, new champions, we got Miz and Damian Mizdow out of this, and uh, you know that because you probably watch Raw. But who cares? Uh, backstage, Byron Saxton's with Seth Rollins. Rollins is... Uh, He's talking about John Cena having a you know start you know going to pay, you know going to pay starting tonight and you know he doesn't have to pin or submit Cena all he has to do is put him through a table so it wasn't that bad it was a you know regular Rollins stuff but uh, then we go to the stairs match with Big Show and Eric Rowan. <sighs> Really didn't care much for this match, to be honest with you. Um, I just didn't. I just didn't care much for this match. It was, uh, I mean, yeah, there was some couple good spots, but I mean, they're two big guys just throwing stairs around. It just didn't have the. I don't know. It, I just didn't really care what in the fuck they were doing in this match. So. I don't know. Plus, you know, before this, they had a, vi a video. The, st the stairs are, you know, 200 and some pounds. Well, it didn't. I mean, I've seen guys throw these things, so I don't think they really are. But anyway, who gives a shit? That's just my opinion. Who really cares about it? Uh, let's see. Big Show won that match, which I was a little weird. I, I, I really kind of thought that... Uh, Rowan would have got the win here. I think it would have been probably a good thing for him to get the win here, especially if if it's the blow-off feud, which it looks like it might be. Um, looks like Big Show may be moving on to Roman Reigns. So I thought that it might have been a better thing if you're trying to push Rowan as this, you know, big guy and, you know, you might want to, uh, you might want to let him win here. I just thought having Big Show win here didn't make any sense, but uh, whatever. I guess, again, my opinion, who gives a flying shit? Video package runs, hyping the Cena versus Rollins match, and then we get Paul Heyman walking down to the ring, and he remains at ringside and just stands there. 
All right, I am back. That was it. There we go. There's Shaheen. He's back. I am back. And I cannot hear myself. Awesome. So that was the problem. Well, I don't know. How come it worked the first half? I don't know. Well, fuck it. Let's, uh, we are here back, you know. Yeah, I'm, uh... I'm actually all the way down at the tables match already. Unless you want to, unless you have anything to say about the Usos match. No, no, not really. All right, you got anything to say about the uh, Big Show Rowan match? I didn't like it. All right, I mean, I, I need to bitch about this for a minute. All right, I'm glad I went back to this. Let's. Please, why, why the fuck is Big Show winning? Why? I mean, <laughs> isn't he supposed to enhance the talent now? You are, okay. you are repeating what I just said, All but right. go for awesome. it. Awesome, awesome. Glad we agree, at least. Absolutely. Dude, if he's going to win the pay-per-view match, at least let him win on Raw. I mean, I know we're going to get into it later, but he lost to him on Raw again. I don't fucking get it. I just don't get it, man. I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't comprehend the logic behind the booking in the world wrestling entertainment. Vince McMahon, I don't understand your fucking logic. I'm sorry. I don't understand it. John Cena, fuck him. Big Show, fuck that guy. Kane, retire, please. Th 2015, dude, you need to stop wrestling. That's all. And and the stairs match, are you fucking kidding me? I mean, uh, a stairs, is that the best you could come up with? Which, honestly, the match wasn't as bad as I thought. So I'm gonna go ahead and credit him for that, but oh, yeah. I mean there was a couple spots. I mean, it wasn't that bad, but it it wasn't horrible. It was just I mean every I don't it's stupid. Know. It's stupid, and and the ending doesn't make sense. The Big Show doesn't need a win, man. This guy's been around since fucking '95, dude. Yeah, I actually you just understand said that since '95. That's 20 years almost. Yeah, yeah, and I just and said what. Made no sense for him to win this match. You're trying to push Rowan as this. I mean, you know, he's he 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 was just in this huge uh, Survivor Series match that they all won, and then this. Yeah, I don't know. I I really didn't think it made sense, and then I I totally forgot. But you're right. He did. He beat him again last night. You're right. Yeah, man. Too, too much. Too much Big Show for me. Too yeah. much Big Show. Just too much Big Show, too much Paul White for me, dude. Now, if they say this is Big Show's last run, I'm fine with that. But I know it won't be, and that's what makes me mad. Well, I actually think it is from what they reported. I guess Mark Henry and uh, Big Show are going to retire soon. But Man, no word on Kane, though. Kane's going to be around for a while. That's exciting. Yeah. Corporate Kane in his fucking slacks. He's gonna come out and, and wrestle in, in fucking businessman outfits. Sensible slacks. You gotta have sensible slacks to wrestle correctly. Christ, man. Oh my god. He's give some of those to uh, Triple H next time he's in the room. Man. <laughs> it's so frustrating, man. I just, I don't know, man. I know. I know, I, I but yeah, I I I definitely we were on the same page. I did not get Big Show winning that match, and I I even posted it on on Facebook that night. Um, you know, I I just didn't get it. And you know, for the people that 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 que always question people for you know, uh, complaining, saying, oh, if you hate it so much, why do you watch it? Well, I watch it because you know they put on shows like NXT's revolution which gives me hope and I'm like oh well the next generation is going to be nice when are they going to debut is, is, is Kane retiring tonight hopefully is is Adrian Neville coming in and no 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 big show is winning big show is coming out five times a night and I John Cena starts the show and ends the show still yeah I mean I kind of watch out of habit I've been doing this every Monday for a very long time yeah well, I, I took about a 10-year break, which uh, probably kept me sane, because I feel like I'm going insane again after after watching wrestling for about two years again. Yeah. But, uh, Jesus Christ. I mean, uh, dude, I mean, I know we're talking about TLC, man, which I'm, for the most part, I was fine with TLC, but man, Raw was bad, and I know we're going to get into it, I'm going to save it, but Raw killed me, dude. That yeah. is... Yeah, I, well... 
We only got a few more matches here. Yeah. What well, what are we on now? The tables match? Uh, we're on the Cena, um, Seth Rollins, uh, you know, great. With, uh, great. Yeah. AJ Security, so Yeah. That's and, uh, it. I hadn't I hadn't started talking about it, so uh go ahead, man. Well, yeah, you, you of course we had to have thirty five interferences because John Cena's in the match and you know, he can't look weak, so he has to beat three people and fucking, you know, put Seth Rollins through the table first and the ref doesn't see it. And he still beats him at the end, so it's like what the fuck what was the point? You might as well have not put him through the table at first. So he basically beat him twice. And we had two other guys attacking him, so he beat them. So he beat three guys twice, essentially, in the ring. Like, like I, I, I don't know. I, I don't even want to rant on that, man. Fuck, I just, I don't enjoy Cena, man. This is why. This is why. Save your ring. Isn't Seth Rollins the future? Uh, not with this guy around, apparently. And I know he likes to hold these little things before Raw and, and say, oh, you know, you guys got to step it up. Well, get the fuck out the way, dude. Once you get out the way, they will step it up. They've already stepped it up. They just can't climb the ladder because you're fucking, you know, 40-year-old steroid ass is standing at the top sho- shoving everybody down, you know, sucking uh, Vince's dick off, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. You know what? Good segue, my friend, into what I posted yesterday about the meeting Mr. Cena held <laughs> for the talents. <laughs> Why? Is this supposed to be, like, inspirational? Like, Did you read uh, that whole thing? No, I didn't. I, Dude, I can't, I can't read shit like that, man. It just irritates me more. There's no reason. Um, it's, it's loading right this second. Yeah, you, you can summarize if you'd like it. Yeah, for anybody listening, you can check out you can check it out. The link is up there. Facebook.com slash group slash THC podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This was yesterday. Uh, this was yesterday. This is uh, December fifteenth, yesterday. And it said that according to according to confirmed WWE insider Mets fan forever on Reddit. Now this guy actually has broken a lot of stories and um been very right about a lot of it. Who do you uh, think it is? I don't know. They say it's a former writer, but that's all they say. The other guy was supposed to be a former writer too. That was guessing all the um, that dolphins, whatever guy. Well, if it's a former writer, how does he still have all the scoops and details on what's going to happen? And I guess he can still make some friends. Yeah, I guess. We have cell phones now, so who knows, man? But um, but is it is it really worth like jeopardizing your your job for a friend to give him the scoop so you can, you know, leak it on Reddit? Like, I don't know. That's that's a whole other topic, though. Go on. I'm sorry. Yeah, they were saying that uh, there was talk backstage that some talent knew that they weren't going to show up NXT, so they mailed in their matches as a silent protest in order in support of Triple H feeling it's time that Triple H took over the main shows. Uh, Cena's meeting was described as forceful, yet calm, uh, in approach as he stressed that the roster didn't need a silent protest. They need to go out and step it up every night for their point to be proven. And that brings me to what you were saying. They can prove it all day, but if you're not going to fucking step aside, and I, you know, it's not all on John Cena. I mean, Vince has... Hey, to Vince and Cena, dude. It's these two fucking guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I, I definitely think that Vince might be complacent right now and, oh, well, Cena works, so that's what we're going to go with. So, even even though everybody says Cena sucks, he's still getting a reaction, so that's, you know, that's good. Which, it makes sense, but fuck, man. Other people are getting reactions. Give them a chance. Yeah, other people are getting... Much better reactions. Yeah. Yeah. I'm working up a sweat over here, man. I'm getting pissed. Yeah. Don't get pissed. No, it's because it's, it's frustrating, man. It's like the same shit every week. And then they tease you with something good, and then it's like, all right, then Big Show and, you know, uh, same shit happens again. 
Well, here. we're going to feed you shit all week because we're on USA all week long. John yeah. Cena defeating all the future talent all week long, you know, turn, tune in. Oh. Speaking of Big Joe, he got, he got involved in this match af after it was restarted. And then, guess who comes out? Give Boom, good friends. Believe that. Believe that. It's, it's funny how he first came out. He started saying like "believe that," and now now he makes sure he you know he pronunciates everything right. Believe that. Yeah, and then I don't know. Let's 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 try to stay with this, and uh, you know it, it it went through, and of course he helped John Cena win, so. Yeah, a lot of interferences, which, you know, at the same time, I, I know why they did it, because if they didn't, it would be a really boring match with just one guy going through a table. So I get why they did the interferences, but I think it was just too much, man. It's just too much. You know, he didn't need to put Seth Rollins through a table at first if he was going to win the match anyway. Why beat the guy twice? You know, I yeah. don't know. And then he... he you know, pretty much dominated him the next night again. Yep. Same shit with uh, Bray Wyatt, dude. Look where uh, look what happened to Bray. They had to take him off TV for three months. Well, no, Cena, Cena lost last night. Did he? Yeah. He, did you miss that match? No, I mean my recorder stopped recording when uh, Brock Lesnar came out. Oh, dude. That that match that those two had, Rollins, and that was an excellent fucking match, dude. It really. Well, I, I watched the match. I just didn't watch the ending. It was the the ending made the match better. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that AA from the top rope. I, I saw all that stuff, but yeah. But we're gonna get into that later, I guess. But uh, back to TLC. What's what's the next match on this? But yeah, this this match was was a. I thought it wasn't a bad match. It was it was decent. I enjoyed it. I just. I didn't appreciate all the, the, you know, it was basically overbooked in my opinion. Yep, I agree. It's like a TNA match, you know, like thirty people come in and I, uh, I don't know. You're all right. Don't worry about it. You're okay. Yeah, yeah. You're okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see what was next. Next was um oh probably one of, probably your favorite the uh, Divas Championship match Nikki Bella and Brie Bella versus with Brie Bella versus AJ Lee. Yeah. Well, I didn't watch this, but I, I'm guessing you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you see a pattern here? <laughs> I was just trying to help you out so you didn't have to answer. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what? Oh, yeah. You know what? This wasn't actually a bad match. I'm going to say horrible. AJ Lee can put on a good match, does put on a good match. So, whatever. But um, let's go ahead and uh, forget about that. Um, whatever. Uh, Nikki Bella still won. Uh, her and her giant tits are still champion. But that's, you know, that, that's good, I think. I think it's good. Well, that's always good. Always good. So yeah. then we get into. Hold on one second here. Then we get into um, backstage. Roman backstage. Roman Reigns cuts this promo. Oh yeah. And botches it. <laughs> oh yeah, it was fantastic, man. It was. I I know you're lying. I can tell you're lying. I, I I'm serious. I loved it. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> I officially. Do, you know what? Let me ask you something. And I, I'll admit I did hear this on another show, but I've I've I thought it too the other night when I saw it. Um, do you think? Roman Reigns is botching lines because they're just giving him scripted shit and he just can't be himself. Do you think that 
maybe a good experiment would be to just give him bullet points and let him go out there and see what he can do? Absolutely. I think if you actually let the guy go, I think he'd be much more comfortable. I think you would actually have a star in your hands. He just can't can't do scripted stuff, man. You can see it. They gave him three lines, and he can't even get that off. So, Yeah, I mean, uh, here's what I think. Everyone, all these scripted promos, blah, blah. They should take a couple of guys. Yeah. I'll tell you who I would take, and I'll be honest with you. I would take Ryback. And I would take Roman Reigns, and I would say, here's bullet points, sink, or fucking swim. I mean, Ryback is entertaining as hell, man. If you, if you watch his, like, uh -huh. his, his Twitter videos and stuff, like, the guy has fucking charisma. Just let I, the guy go. He's hilarious. Let him go. He is. And I, I think if you just took those two guys and said, here's your bullet points, you're either both going to sink or you're both going to swim or one of you is going to do one or the other. It doesn't matter. But just do what you can. Yeah. Grab that brass ring. Go grab that brass ring. Squeeze that brass it. ring. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, another guy that has charisma, supposedly, I mean, I, you know, honestly don't really see it. But, I mean, people backstage, I guess they claim I don't want to – Sound like a fucking moron because <laughs> people backstage. But I mean, you know, this uh, fucking dirt sheet say that, you know, Biggie is supposedly really like backstage because he's a funny guy. Yeah. All right, well, he's a funny guy. Then put him on fucking TV and let him go. Let him be funny. Don't have him come out here like a preacher. Oh, yeah. You know, fucking shuggle and diving, man. It's fucking terrible, man. It's. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand it, dude. It is. He is funny though. If you've ever followed him on Instagram or stuff, just the faces, the pictures he takes. Or I mean, most of the food looking like he's about to devour the whole thing. But it's just he yeah. But the, 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 yeah, but the chucking and diving, diving, man. I mean, it's it's it's. I'm I'm, I'm not black, but it's 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 got, not offensive, but it's like it's got, out there. We got plenty of time to get into the new day in a couple of minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I got a few things to say about them myself. We'll, we'll wait a little bit. This New day? No, God, stop. Let's get into New this game day? right back chairs match. New day? <laughs> Hot tag? There you go. We need to steal their fucking music. All right, let's get that over, man. Let's steal Hot it. Hot tag? Hot tag? I'll, I'll, I'll be doing that at the Royal Rumble. with uh, the, I'll, I'll get all the two people to do it. Dude, get that chant going. <laughs> like four people doing it. Hot tag. <laughs> Fuck it. If you can oh, hear it on TV, it's a matter. People, come on, do it with us. Yeah, come on, hurry up. Promote Please. Promote. I'll, I'll give you a dollar. I'll give you a shout out. There you go. Lounge <laughs> oh, I'll okay. give you a shout out like next week. <laughs> you can call in. You just 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 co just put your contact down on this on this paper and just pass it around. I'll I'll give all you a shout out. Yeah, I, actually. Uh, Eric? Speaking of call, p people in the chat room are asking why we don't take calls. Uh, hopefully we will be. Well, we actually we can take calls through our YouTube. I was actually just checking that out. I noticed you can use Google Google Voice, right? Uh, I don't know, but if uh, there's an app on on this uh, Google Plus. Where it actually give, gives us our own number, and they can just call that. And they can, uh... It's Google Voice, and you can only do uh, two calls at a time. Um, might try to get Skype working again just for calls, and probably going to need it for interviews too. So probably going to have to try to get Skype working again. Yeah. Uh, and again, I'm going to keep everything on one computer, so it's not going to switch. But uh, I think our Skype number expired. I'll renew it later. And uh, we did try to take calls once, um, like our what third, fourth show, and no one called in. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't remember too. I don't remember what I ate this morning. So I just... yeah, it, it was real early in the show, and it was probably a stupid idea to even try it at that point. But uh, we did, we could. According to this guy, I don't, I don't know if you guys believe him. Tommy wants to call in. Well, hey, Saved by the Bell fanatic. Saved by the Bell. That that guy he is actually uh PWS a lot. The the fucking uh 
Uh, what's his name? The guy from Saved by the Bell. The, 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 the uh, building. What was his name? Building. I don't know his yeah. real name. He's at yeah. WWE shows too all the time, man. Yeah, he used to come to the PWS shows all the time, and he was like a like a guest commissioner once, actually. Oh, oh wow, yeah. And I, he took a bump once, I remember, for somebody. Did he? I saw the video. I can't remember when. It was a few weeks ago. Don't make me look for it, please. Uh, I I won't. It's not. Uh, I'm not that interested. In it. But yeah, Tommy. Uh, we'll we'll figure out a way for people to call in. Probably next week. Yeah, I just need to renew the Skype number, and Skype still is on this computer, still working, and it's. Uh, fuck Skype though, man. That that shit was killing me. If we got to use it just for calls, we'll stay here, and I'll take calls on it. All right. Sounds good. Down Shaheen. It's not a big deal, man. All right. Take it easy, bro. All right, bro. All right. Just calm All down, right. okay? All right, dude. And don't forget, we're on a mission from God. That's right. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I just what? felt like hitting that. That's the only reason I segued. What the into hell it. is going on? What, the, what do you mean? I don't know, man. I feel like this is just like a bad like acid trip or something. <laughs> what is going on, man? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, let's let's get let's get back on to what the hell are we talking about? What are you talking about, man? Oh man, is is that the sound from the from the mushrooms on on Super Mario? Actually, it's oh, Pac Man. Is it Pac Man dying? Yeah, Pac Man. Yeah, yeah it sounds it sounds like that shroom sound. It kind of does, but yeah, that's Pac Man dying. Pac Man. So. But uh, what what match are we at now? After we were, the Divas match. We were trying to talk about this chairs match with Kane and Ryback. Did we get into it? Yeah. Or, and by the way, all, all my predictions were correct. Uh, except for the, for the, yeah, except for the Usos one. I, 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 uh, I expected Miz and Miz Dow to win, and they actually got disqualified, so that's the only one that I got wrong. Because I, I changed my predictions when I did the show again with uh, Rufo. Okay, but... They're still champions, so technically, yeah, you're right. yeah. Well, then there you go. I got pretty much all of them right. I mean, if you really want to make an argument, well, I, I, I don't care enough to. But well, they, hey, I'll they, take the credit for it, though. There yeah. you go. They they did not lose the titles, so they did not. So by default, exo facto, you are correct. Indeed. I have no clue what I just said, but I hope it sounded really awesome. Probably did, man. Probably. Kind of like when someone says, come on, mano y mano, and you go, what the fuck are you even talking about? That's not even a fucking word, douchebag. Yeah, and if it's, if it's not a word, man, go ahead and uh, leave a comment on, on iTunes. <laughs> leave any comment on iTunes, man. It helps out the show. God damn it. I think I'm going to go on there and fucking leave a comment. <laughs> <laughs> comment on your own show. It's all awesome. God. Suck. Oh, wait, that's me. Wait a minute. Backspace, 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 backspace. Give us a listen. We're pretty cool, man. It's pretty fucking yeah. awesome. It's a pretty good show. Yeah, man. I'll put us over. I'll go on there under five fucking different guys. <laughs> I'm going to be fucking <laughs> Scoop Gillicuddy and fucking... So ne next next show, I'll be doing the show alone. Boxman is just going to be making a bunch of different names. And Johnny Burger and... Fondango Lover and... Fondango's number one in my book, and yeah. Roman Reigns fan number sixty-seven, and Roman fan Roman Reigns fan sixty-nine, of course. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I didn't want to say sixty-nine, but if you want to go there, you oh, can. Okay. Since I'm you're the guy writing it, <laughs> writing I'm the comments. Around. Oh man, uh, Roman I'm... Roman. Speaking of Roman Reigns, man, that guy is really feeling himself, man. Yeah, I don't know if you caught him, but uh. A couple girls were like whistling at him, and he started licking his lips and shit. I'm like, oh, come on, dude. He knows. This he's is LL him. Cool J, man. What the fuck is going on, man? He knows the only thing he's good for is, dude. Listen to the crowd cheering for him. Yeah, it's all girls, man. It's all girls and kids. It's it's like when you hear "Let's Go Cena." It's kids, girls, and guys who are afraid they're not gonna fucking ever get laid again if they lose their girlfriend. Yeah, I'll tell you what though, I, I do like Reigns, so I'll I'll go against the grain on that one. Most people hate Reigns, but I don't, I don't hate him. I'm not I'm not too excited. I mean, I really don't want to see him win the Rumble though, man. And 
You know I'm going there in five, five, six weeks, dude. I hope that guy is not going over in Philly. I think he's going to get booed. I, and that's that's bad, man. The second rumble that every that the winner gets, you know, fucking completely just booed out of the building. That's not good. Yeah, but yeah. I I don't hate the guy. I don't. I actually think eventually he's going to be really good. It's just obvious he's green. It's obvious they're going to shove this motherfucker down our throats, and I think it's too early for him to do it. The guy can't cut a promo. I don't. I people were arguing that oh, it was a great pro. Did Did you see that on Facebook? People telling me just get deal with it. No, the guy can't cut a promo. I'm sorry, it sucks. No, no people call me a uh, Debbie Downer though. And, uh, because I didn't, I didn't like you know Chris Jericho revisiting his feud with Fandango and all this shit. It's like, dude, are you fucking kidding me? Are you watching the same show I am? How can I not complain about this? Are you fucking kidding me? I I couldn't believe they were. I I, I don't know. I, how, I, I mean, come on, dude. You 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 can't sell me on that. I know. Yeah, the WWE fanboys, man, they are running strong and running wild on the internet behind the keyboards. Well, you guys keep doing it. You know why? WWE needs you guys. They, yeah, you're part of the universe, man. You are the universe. You are. So you keep are. Going. You're not gonna piss us off. You can uh, argue with us all day. We don't give a shit. And, and technically, I'm I'm a part of the universe now because uh, they got my money for Royal Rumble. Yep, that's it. And Bastards. I'm, I bought a T-shirt from them, and I've been to many shows. So, I, and, and and we pay our nine ninety nine every month. So I pay my nine ninety nine every month. Yep, nine ninety nine. I will say this pay per view was the the first pay per view that was totally HD clear the whole show. I had not one load buffer glitch. It was perfect the whole show for the first time ever. Yeah, mine mine wasn't perfect, but it was uh, it was pretty decent. I I've always had a few glitches, a few you know buffer spots, loading spots, but uh, this was it. I didn't have one this time. It just boom sailed right through. Um, so and by the way, shout out shout out to the listeners because I'm actually surprised that we got a, quite a couple people in here. I wouldn't f- expect anybody to come uh, with SmackDown or anything, but uh, we definitely appreciate it, man. Thumbs up to you guys. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I also saw that um, we actually got a good amount of uh, res- responses this time for the show. Nice. Facebook. But uh, three. So the chair match, man. I mean, this this match was probably one of the one of the more boring matches on the show, I guess. Unnecessary. Yeah, right. I could have done without this and Big Show and Rowan, and it would have been fine. I really could have done with this not being a gimmick match, to be honest with you. I don't know I done without this being a match. I, I I probably could have too, but I oh, could I have. definitely could have. Anything yeah. about Kane, I'm right. fine. Well then anyway, let's do this. Ryback wins. Next match. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> next oh. match. Rusev with Lana's fine ass versus Jack Swagger. Oh yeah. I hope you got something to say about this. I'm because I'm I'm digging Rusev, man. I'm liking this guy more every week. I am too. But this match, this match, I swear we just watched this two pay per views ago. Oh, we did. We did. No, exact ending, pretty much the exact match. Oh, we did. They were just foreshadowing. Two okay. Ago. So Rusev wins. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we literally saw this exact match. Swagger passes out at the end, just like you know, he he almost got up, but then he blah blah blah. Uh, anyway, what a, what a shitty American Jack Swagger is, right? <laughs> that guy just sucks, man. He's let his country down like six times. God damn this fucking guy. Uh, <laughs> they should. Anyway. They should. They should deport him, man. Deport him to, to, to some other country he's not even from. Hey, they should send him wherever fucking Quebec the cat comes from. Hey, well, wherever wherever uh, marijuana is legal, because you know he's he's a big pot smoker, I guess. Take him to Colorado. Him and Vince Russo can start their own promotion, bro. Well, we want him out of America, though. 
fucking Vince Russo, bro. I'm telling you, bro. It's bro, bro. Is Vince a a, a pothead? Have you have you listened to his show? I've listened to the one where he was arguing with the guy that wrote the w, the death of a uh, WCW with uh, yeah. Brian Alvarez. Andy Reynolds one. Yeah. That one was actually hilarious, man, because the guy was just laughing at him. He's just making an idiot out of Vince. I told you, you've got to hear that one. It, it is hilarious. And how many times did Vince Russo say bro in that fucking interview? <laughs> a lot. It was it was so awkward, because clearly he was just making a mockery of Vince. And, you know, Vince knew it, and it was just it was just so weird, man. It was, it was definitely check it out. It, yeah, um, definitely check that out. You know what made it awkward to me? What's that? It was completely obvious by R.J. Reynolds' nervous laughter and his answers that Vince Russo just ambushed him here. Yeah. He was not expecting Russo to lose his fucking cool like he did. Yeah. Um, I actually, I didn't watch the whole interview. I watched like, I think like 35, 40 minutes of it. I listened to all of it and then I obtained the uh, VIP and I, I watched more but uh, he he was obviously caught off guard RD was um, I kind of felt bad for him in certain spots because you know Vince Russo was making some pretty elaborate I guess you could say if not just delusional examples yeah, maybe I missed those parts because I, I don't yeah, recall. You need to ca catch the rest of it. You've got to hear some of the examples Vince Russo uses. It's yeah. ridiculous. And R.D. Reynolds kind of tries to come back with it because he's like, you know, he, 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 I don't know. you got to hear the whole thing. It's definitely worth the whole interview. Because, yeah. Yeah, but um, anyway, I guess we should get back to TLC because... We're we're actually making good time. We're not doing bad. Yeah. Not yeah. Nine o'clock, and we're already we're about to finish DLC because we are on. This is your main event of the evening. Woo! Woo! There we Woo! go. Dean Ambrose, Bray Wyatt. I was very happy they made this the uh, main event. I was a little worried they weren't, but I'm. I, I kind of hope they did, and I'm glad they did. Woo! I, <laughs> Man, you got you got me excited for Ric Flair now. Give me like uh, two minutes. I'm about to elbow drop my T-shirt. Oh, there you go. Woo! Woo! There's another one for you. Thank you, sir. You're going to bleed all night long. There you go. Thank you, sir, again. Ric Flair's the <laughs> man. He is the fucking man. Man, he's always backstage too, man. Bring him out. What the fuck are you guys doing? Yeah, he was backstage at the TLC thing, so... Yeah, he, man, we don't uh, need to see uh, fucking Clark Bongo. It's gonna style and profile! That's why they don't bring him out, because he will style and profile, bro. Hey, he's gonna make everybody else look like crap. Dude, I'm gonna Vince Russo this show up, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna totally say bro all night now, bro. Alright, bro. Alright, bro. Let's, um, I actually yeah. say bro in real life, so it's not bad. Let's go, bro. Sometimes I do too, bro, but you know, this is going to get pretty annoying, bro, after this right, match. Bro. Bro. Well, shit, bro. Let's keep it going, bro. All right, bro. Uh, Ambrose. Wyatt, bro. Um, Ambrose and Wyatt, bro. Uh, Dude, good I, match. I like this. I liked... I, I, God, how can I put this and not get completely killed for what I'm going to say? I liked the match. I understood the ending. I just thought it was cheesy. I never said it was bad, and people immediately jumped on me like I said it was bad on Facebook. I said it was cheesy. Listen, I like the movie Roadhouse. It's cheesy, okay? I like Adam Sandler movies. They're fucking cheesy. Cheesy doesn't mean you don't like it. Cheesy sometimes can be a good thing. You ever had uncheesy nachos? They suck. True. See? I mean, a See prime that? example, honestly, Lucha Underground is a bit cheesy, but it's good. That's right, bro. They're a bit cheesy, but they're fucking awesome, bro. There you go, man. Not cheesy, bro. 
that's it, man. So uh, yeah, we uh, you know I, I I just thought the ending was cheesy, but I did like the match. I thought it. I thought these guys, uh, just like you said with the uh, Neville's uh, Sami Zayn match, I thought these guys were telling a good story in the ring too. Great story. I just think it really wasn't appreciated because all the spots were done already in the show. I did hear that a lot. That by the time it got to this match, you've already seen. We did, dude. We got tables, we got ladders, and we got chairs and stairs and fucking everything. So, I don't know, man. I, that's why I think they should drop the whole TLC thing. Do a TLC match on a random pay-per-view. It's much better than doing a whole show full of it. You know what? It, it, you don't call... In Hell in a Cell, do you, is every match a Hell in a Cell? No. No, because you would call that TNA lockdown, and it's fucking annoying when TNA does it too. <laughs> you know, I actually, I actually went to TNA lockdown. Uh, I don't remember what year it was, but the main event was Sting against Cactus Jack. Oh, you remember that one? I do. I think it was '06. Sounds right. And it was so annoying because every match was in a cage and. If you've been to a you know a live event and and you watched a cage match, it's not the best view. So it's like, well, can't really see much, but uh, I'm sure it's cool. It's like what the fuck, man! I paid good money to come here and watch this, and then you get this big ass cage, just just blocking my view for every match on the show. I mean, yeah, having on like a match or maybe two, not even two. I mean, it's too much. One's enough. Sometimes, uh, sometimes less is more, and a lot of times. A lot of times, you're right. And like I said, this, this. By the time you've seen this, you've already seen tables, you've seen ladders, you've seen chairs, and even stairs, bro. You <laughs> saw stairs, bro. We did see stairs, bro. Stairs, bro. So you know, I don't know. Saying all this, bro, is just getting all cranked up, man. Get me all cranked up, bro. I'm, I'm not sure what to do. Getting cranked up, bro. I might, need to put, down, bro. I might need to put on some techno and beat that beat up, bro. Yeah, man. There you go, man. But uh, let me tell you one thing that I found hilarious. Was Teen Ambrose, when he went to reach for the ladder, a couple of the fans were like, you know, get the bigger ladder. He was like, I can't carry it. <laughs> I thought that was gold, man. He had to I put down that carry. fucking ladder. Because it was it, by the time he got to the ring. <laughs> this shit was so funny, man. It's okay. That's, the, that's a great response. I can't carry it. It was perfect, man. I fucking loved it. <laughs> He's loved funny it. as shit, man. I love Dean Ambrose. Right. He's funny, man. He's a funny guy. But uh, yeah, I liked all the spots, man. I thought I thought the crowd didn't really appreciate it because they were probably tired and they like again they they've seen it. I mean, they did a lot of spots. I mean, he jumped off the ladder three times. Yeah, and that ladder from, from a TLC match. He jumped off the fucking thing three times, and nobody cared. So it's like, all right, well, they took some pretty big bumps in that match. Dude, they took some good. That that I mean, it, it was like I said, it was a it was a well told story, and this was my deduction after the whole TV exploding finish, which you know we're pretty much getting into it anyway, so this was my deduction. These guys didn't get the promo time that everyone had hoped after the whole hologram thing. Not at all. They, they, still they didn't get the proper build-up, man. Exactly. So if they take this as an opportunity to build it up correctly, it all makes sense. So that's why I'm not completely dissing the ending and saying it was horrible, it was stupid. Because I understand why they did it if this is where they're going. If they don't, then it was kind of stupid. Well, they're having a match again tonight, so... <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean... Uh, okay, they're having a match. All right, I understand that, bro. But... <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. But are they getting any fucking promo time, bro, to build up the real feud, bro, no, that's going to happen? That's what I'm saying. They're already getting another, another match. match. So clearly we're not getting any more build-up. It's just like, all right, well, here's a rematch. Are we going to get some shitty gimmick rematch at Royal Rumble, bro? 
I don't know, dude. Did, can we talk about the Royal Rumble for a minute? I mean, we're pretty much done with TLC, right? We're, yeah, we're done with TLC. Uh, let me let me go on the record and say I actually liked that TV spot. I actually enjoyed that. I thought I thought it was a good way for uh, because you know either Ambrose or Wyatt obviously had to lose, and those are two guys you don't want to make look you don't want to make out to be weak because you know they've lost a lot of matches, so they both really need wins. And of course, Ambrose was taking a loss, so it's 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 a good way to get him out of there without him looking like a pussy. You know, it's, it makes sense. I did like Ambrose selling it like like fucking Harvey Dent just acid in his face. Yeah, but, it was it was cool though. It looked like it might have might have hurt. Like the sparks, I mean, could still irritate your face, I guess. Uh, they're calling us the the bro tag brocast. Of bro tag, bro tag, bro cast. Bro tag, bro cast is bro tastic. <laughs> and let me go ahead and say this, man. Taz started a podcast, and that shit is garbage. I couldn't even listen to it. No, it is so fucking bad. It last bad. I couldn't do it. It's so bad, man. It's so bad. I won't even waste my time, then, bro. Yeah. Take the mic away from this guy, man. We already hear you on TNA enough. We don't need to hear you on a podcast. Bro, I don't know. I, well, I, I do know, but I listened. That shit is garbage. <laughs> uh, All right, sorry, Taz. I, uh, you know, that's cool. I'm like Triple H tonight, man. I'm a, I'm a burial machine. How much, uh, how much did you listen to? Uh, maybe like 15 minutes, and that's 15 minutes I'll never get back. So it was pretty Damn. bad, man. It was even worse than like Kevin Sullivan's podcast, and I thought that was pretty garbage. Yeah, I don't know, I mean, man. Don't get me wrong; I'm a huge Kevin Sullivan fan, which is why well, I was really a letdown because it's like I don't know. Maybe it's the guy's voice. Maybe it was the quality. I don't know. It's just something was off. I don't know, bro. But you should be, bro. Yeah, bro. But uh, yeah, I guess we should. I can't believe Taz actually decided to start a fucking podcast, bro. <laughs> and it, it's it's weird because he he did a couple episodes and then he just stopped, and I guess he just started again. He just like stopped for like six months. <laughs> I feel like a bro man, bro. Yeah. All right, sorry about that. Anyway, go ahead. All right. <laughs> I felt like I was in a club. That was actually the bromance music, so I just had to play it real quick. There you go, man. We're bro man in here. All right, we gotta stop. But <laughs> should we get into? Oh, you wanted to get in a Royal Rumble, and I sorry I cut you off. Go, go, go. Yeah. Well, we are we are live broadcasting, so it's good. Yeah, we're broadcasting, bro. Let me get. Yeah. I gotta get a broski. Yeah, the bro tag, broadcasting, broadcast. I'm drinking a. A. Coors Light. I can't even put bro in that word. No, you can't, man. I'm drinking a Coors Light, bro. It's a broski. Just say brew, man. Drinking a brew, bro. Drinking a brew, bro. There you go, man. That's it, man. So, all right. Now, get into your uh, Royal Rumble, whatever you were going to talk about. I'm interested. Well, I'm just, I'm just worried about Royal Rumble, honestly, man, because I, I really hope they don't give us some shitty matches. That's all. Well, <laughs> it's not really much of a thought. I just, I really hope they don't. I mean, the Royal Rumble sells itself, but goddamn, man, I really don't want to see like, I don't know, like Jey Uso against the Miz, or you know, like Ryback against Kane. I don't want to see any of these matches, man. I really don't, I hope that's not where they're going. Well, I don't know. I mean, obviously, Royal Rumble is a one match show, right? So, yeah, you're right. It does sell itself. It is one of the... Oh, excuse me. It is one of the, you know, major four. Right. As they keep calling them. Um, so, I don't know. But, uh, you know, Reigns is in the Rumble. We know that. Nah, I don't know shit. That's what we know. All we know right now. But Ryback and, like, Rusev, like, I'd be excited to see that. <laughs> I gotta quit reading the chat room. They're making me laugh. Oh, please, uh, please enlighten me, cause I gotta start getting in the chat room. I don't... <laughs> they're making, 
They're making Brokeback Mountains into Broback Mountain. <laughs> oh, man. Drinking a broski, watching Broback Mountain, hoping for a bro job, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can't quit you, bro. <laughs> there you go, man. Well, folks, if you're listening, man, I suggest you guys listen live, join the chat room. These crazy bastards in here making bro jokes because we're broing it out here, broadcasting live on a Tuesday night. <laughs> There's actually uh, someone in here. Uh, okay, who? Oh, it's Tommy. All right. It's just it, it's just Tommy saying that he likes Taz. That's fine. Tommy can like Taz. That's fine. I mean, he loves Vince Russo, so he can like Taz. I'm good with it. That's fine. But uh, yeah, he dude. Like, I mean. Well, Ryback and Rusev, I'm 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 excited for that. Although I think that could be a WrestleMania match, I'd be happy with that also. Ryback and Rusev, I am, and that was part of uh, well, fuck it, it's part of Raw, and we were about to get into Raw. And Ryback and Rusev, one thing I can say is, can you dig it? Yes, I can. Can you dig it? I can, bro. Can you dig it? Yeah. I can. Actually, I totally think that is a good thing. That's a good matchup. I like it. I want to see it. I don't see how it can be bad. And I like that Rusev kind of cowered away from Ryback last night. I don't know. I like that whole little segment there. Do you think Ryback is going to go over? Do you think they're going to give him the streak? No. No? I mean, I'd much rather Ryback go over than, than give the streak to Cena at WrestleMania. He c- uh, he could. I mean, it's it's uh, obviously it's you know they're gonna do what they want to do, but I mean, what is the point of giving it to Cena? That doesn't do anything. I mean, he, they might as well give it to a to a new guy because Rusev has already been elevated. I mean, he's pretty much a top guy. I don't know, but I'd like to see Ryback Brock. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that either. Yeah, I, I, dude, I want to see Ryback. Fucking Cesaro, Cesaro, Brock, Cesaro, Rusev, Rusev, Brock, uh, any of those. I'm good with any of those. Are you trying to tell me you don't want to see Brock versus Cena or Cena versus Big Show anymore? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. I got you. You're trying to say it's boring. I got you. You got it. Yep, exactly. Uh, speaking of Cena versus Brock, go ahead and give me your prediction. Who do you think is going to win? I'm torn on this one. Do they go ahead and start now with the Mania buildup? If they do that, it's going to go to Cena. Dude, it, it has to be Brock. No way. I hope to God. There's no way Cena's going to If Cena wins this, what was the point of any of this? What was the point of the streak? What what was the point of putting the title on this guy and have him not defend it for almost five months? He uh, has to carry it to WrestleMania now, man. It's only like a couple months left. The worst part has been passed pretty much. I don't know. And I, I, I tend to agree with you. I don't see... Well, like I said, I do see a reason that they would take it off of him. Um, I don't know. Why? I mean, he, he's going to be at the Rumble. The only pay-per-view he's going to be missing from then until WrestleMania's Elimination Chamber, which is completely fine with me. Yeah. He's already missed like three pay-per-views in a row. If they let him get away with that, might as well let him get away with one more and actually make the streak worth something. If he just loses to Cena at Royal Rumble, dude, I'm telling you, that place is going to fucking riot. Won't this be... Cena's third loss to Brock, though. Yeah. See, this is where. No, 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 no. He actually didn't. He win the second one by DQ. First one because I bitched, pissed, moaned, and complained. Why the fuck did you bring Brock back just to go just to fucking lay down to Cena? Yeah. Um, Are you tapping your microphone? I'm getting some like echo. I don't. I, I might have tapped the table. I was. Oh, okay, that's probably what it is. I'm sorry yeah. about. That. Yeah, but uh. I don't know, man. He has... I'm, I'm guessing Brock, dude. There's no way Cena's going over, especially in Philadelphia, man. I mean, they can maybe get, they can do that in, like, you know, somewhere else, but... Well, like I said, I'm worried that with a third loss to Brock, you know how they want to book Cena and keep Cena strong, so... 
that worries me a bit. Well, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go with Brock, man. I, I don't see Cena going over. If he does, man, I, I don't know. I'll tell you what. Right now, I'll go with, right now I'm going to go with Brock. As, as it progresses the week of, we'll go back to it and say it again. But uh, right now, I think Brock should win, but I'm worried about that whole, we got to keep Cena strong. You know, I mean, look what happened the night after. Um, God, the night after Brock beat the shit out of him, what did he do? You remember? No, I don't remember, thankfully. He went out the night after and beat the shit out of all three Wyatts. Why? Oh, yeah, God. Jesus. Look strong again. we got to build him right back up. Dude, don't, don't remind me, man. Please. <laughs> you know, as shitty as my memory is, I remember the weirdest fucking stuff. Yeah, you remember the worst garbage that you probably should be forgetting. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. I, 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 I can't remember shit I did a week ago, but ask me something I did two years ago, and I can remember it. I don't know why. My my, well, I know why my short-term memory sucks. I mean, let's not lie here. Smoke weed every day. I mean, that's why my short-term Woo! memory sucks. There you go, man. Well, let's let's get into raw, man. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we're we're basically talking about it right now, anyway. But well, let's, um, let's start from the beginning because I got I got some notes written down here for once. I'm trying to be a professional. Oh. Uh, Let's start from the... F oh, man. Oh, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I forgot I had that one there. Shit, yeah. I just saw that one and went, I got to play that. <laughs> there you go, man. Uh, yeah. Let's let's let's, let's start with uh, Jericho coming down looking like a uh, transsexual. Yeah, raw fucking... Cover is Adam's December, December 15th edition of Raw. Chris Jericho came out looking more and more like Bon Jovi. That scarf is looking so gay, man. I don't know what he's doing with his life. He's trying to cover his Adam's apple. He's very fat. Ah, chest, man. He looks feminine. I don't know, man. All I know is anytime you see a chick in a scarf, take a second look. That's all I got to say. <laughs> yeah, that's a scary thought. <laughs> you know? He came down looking weird, but... Um... Yeah. Dude, am I the only one that's not really feeling Jericho anymore? I'm I'm really kind of tired of him also. I'll be honest. I felt like this week he was trying a little too hard to be. It was too corny, man. I'm sorry. It, it, was, it was either A, scripted as hell, or B, he was trying too hard. I'm not sure which part. I, it's in, I think it's a bit of both. All the fandingo and fan butthole. And, like, come on, man. What is this? Did he say fan bunghole or fan dickhole when they? No, broke? he said he said bunghole. Why did they do it's, that? It's because it's it's fucking eight o'clock and the kids are watching and they John can hear did, bunghole. Did John come out and say ass in the first twenty minutes of the show? He said you don't have testicles in your pants to Seth Rollins. My gosh, man! Watch your language. This is a p. Oh no, it's not. Say what the fuck you want. There you go. Okay. <laughs> He said, "You don't have your, you don't have testicles in those pants. Be a man. If you know, you lost the match in a fair match, and like, all right, dude, do you, do you admit when you lose a match fair? I've, I haven't seen that happen. You know, the next night example that you just gave, why is you know you, you beat him three on one because you took a loss the, the previous night. What yeah. happened with uh, Daniel Bryan when you put him over? Okay. Next night you come out with your elbow. Oh well, you know." Like, come on, dude! You don't, you don't, you don't put anybody over, man. Are you fucking kidding me? This guy coming out and, and preaching to the choir and to the roster—you got to step it up. Oh, dude, get the fuck out of the way. You know? Yeah. I, you, you see me showing up here looking for because you know Seth Rollins said that you know he's beat up from the from the previous night at TLC and he doesn't want to wrestle. This guy shows up, you know. Oh, I'm I'm still showing up for a fight tonight. All right, he said the same thing about The Undertaker with Brock. He <laughs> shitted on The Undertaker a couple weeks ago, maybe a couple months ago, I don't know. But he came out and he said, you know, basically that, you know, when, when Brock beat him, he came out the next night looking for a fight. He said that he did the same thing to The Undertaker. Where is The Undertaker now? You know, yeah. this guy's burying everybody, including new talent, old guys, everything. He's got 30 minutes of fucking dialogue. You know, Chris Jericho talking about the popcorn guy is a ninja, man. Get the fuck out, dude. Come on. 
it was kind of funny, actually. It's kind of, and then, it, it, you know, him constantly saying, this is fun, right? You guys are having fun, right? Like, come on, man. Jericho, dude, you, like you said, he's trying too hard, man. He's trying way too hard. I did like JBL saying that, you know, Chris Jericho versus Paul Heyman is sponsored by SeaWorld. I thought that was funny. Uh, for the most part, it was, it was it was pretty bad, man. It was, it was pretty horrendous. Yeah, it was. This whole first segment was a little weird. Of course, Paul Heyman does save any segment he steps into. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, the segment wasn't that bad. I just thought Jericho actually honestly kind of ruined this because he was just really corny, and, you know, I'm usually used to his corniness. It's just he was honestly trying too hard. You know, he was trying to pop the crowd way too much, and then Cena coming out and uh, just, you know, doing his usual shtick and being and garbage. Get Jericho's jokes. Yeah. They were really like, I mean, that you know, Jericho would make a joke and it would be like... <laughs> it's like a Divas match in my house. It was like a Divas match, Chichi. <laughs> yep. But uh, what I what I thought was hilarious was the commercial that came out next for you on USA that said uh, it's WWE Week on USA and we got exclusive interviews with the Miz, Big Show, and Stephanie. No, thank you, sir. I, is this supposed to draw people in an interview with the Big Show and the Miz? I, the Stephanie one I'd watch. Yeah, that, that's what I'm emphasizing on the right. Miz and Big Show. Like, really, who wants to watch this? I may watch. I, I I could probably watch the Miz. God bless you. But Big Show, I couldn't care to. Do not. You can you can pay me to watch that shit. Anything with the Miz, man. <laughs> like him and Cena. He's one of those guys. He's he's new, but he's in that in that group of guys that I just don't want to see. I don't know. Miz is Miz is kind of in his own little league shit with world. Him. Yeah, sometimes, but he's kind of funny, and he is entertaining. The guy is talent. He's got some talent, obviously. He's I don't see it, dude. Uh, what talent? I don't know. I mean, the guy's entertaining. Uh, let me put it this way: the name, guy, a, name a, please name a good mismatch. I, 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 I have I said once he's a good wrestler. But well, then how uh, is he good? You said he's talented. How is he talented? Then if he's not a good wrestler. I think he's got a talent that he has a face that you want to punch, and he can exploit it, and it works. Which so is he's just, he's just a, what? So he's just annoying as fuck, and that's like talent. Uh, I mean, there's a reason his babyface run didn't work. He's just not. I mean, his talent is being a douchebag that everyone wants to punch. <clears throat> yeah, but I, I wouldn't really call that a talent. I mean, you can walk down. The fucking, you know, you can go down to Atlantic City and there's a bunch of douchebags that you want to punch them in the face. I wouldn't call him talented. His talent is making millions at doing something like that and banging Maurice. I guess, man. I think Miz is just talentless. Guys, I mean, I can appreciate his love for wrestling because clearly he's been a longtime fan. Right. He's not just, like, getting in the business for the money, but I just I don't think he's a good wrestler at all. I don't find him entertaining. I don't think he's really good on the mic. I think he's good at uh, like being being like a commentator more than you know doing promos. Yeah, I think he is uh, good on the mic. I think he, he can definitely talk. I guess, man. I mean, the best thing he's done is is you know pretty much being with Mizdale. It's like my favorite part of his uh, career. <laughs> Kevin in the chat room. Jared Bro fell pretty flat this week. <laughs> he did, man. Jared Bro. <laughs> yeah. There you go, man. With Dar the team. I'm loving it. Dare bro sucked, man. You tell him, Kev bro. <laughs> Kev bro. All right, well, we got we got Big Show and Harper against Rowan and Ziggler. Do you have anything to say about this match? Big bro and Harper? Yeah. Big big bro. That's, a, that's what they should call him, Big bro. And Broen? Big bro and Eric Broen. There you go, man. Big Bro and Harper against Bro and Ziggler. Oh God. Um. Di uh, is that was that the first match? Yes. All right. I'm gonna say this. 
did he have to lose again? What was he that? Talked about this, so we don't really have to go into it. All right. Well, I thought it was an all right match, but once again, you know, Rowan took the pen again. So it's like, all right. Well, clearly he's just gonna get you know demolished by the Big Show every time they're in the ring. That's exciting. Give me more, please. And of course, Ziggler took the the hellacious bump, and as always, uh, Rowan kind of, or yeah, Rowan kind of had a flip on top of him. Even the, I mean, you could totally tell they pulled the camera away because he didn't fall all the way over. Yeah, but it, I like I like Rowan though, man. He's growing on me. He used to be terrible when they first came out, and he's he's pretty agile for a big guy, man. He's he's pretty athletic. I think for you know being a bigger guy, and I. I think he's going to be pretty decent if they can get him over and not give him all these, uh, you know, like wine maker gimmick and him being a genius and all. I don't know. Well, the only thing I am happy about is they stopped, and it's amazing. The week after I said stop, just stop what you're doing, they actually did. I don't know. I'm I'm not taking credit that they actually listened to me because I'm pretty sure none of them ever listened to this show, but. Never say never, man. You never yeah. know. <laughs> I guess you got a point. But they do... Oh, yeah. Vince McMahon listening to this right now. The fuck this guy think he can't <laughs> I know. The the I'm fuck this guy. You bastard. I do, like the, I do like the Vince Russo bashing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. So expect, expect some bro gimmicks in NXT pretty soon. Oh God! Um, <laughs> they did stop doing the where he's a weird guy stalking women thing really quickly. Well, yeah, that's kind of just I don't know. Well, you can't have a fucking genius doing that, right? So but then again, I I don't know. It's just like it's it's odd. I mean, at least it, it, I don't know. For a minute there, I thought. I mean, for a couple weeks there, I thought they were just gonna turn him into a like a like like like. Like a like a serial killer who, I don't know, like a songman type character, which would be more interesting than a genius, I think. Might be. Might be. Fucking, oh please, you can't do that because then everybody would just say he's just like Sam Shaw. Man, I already forgot about Sam, dude. I would I would have never made made the connection. <laughs> Who remembers Sam Shaw? I mean, I'm joking, bro. The only thing I remember is his hot mom, bro. Did he ever have? I don't remember. He looked just like Christy Hemi. CNN is like a blur. I mean, no, I said CNN. TN, TNA. God, I even forgot their name already. I was going to say TNN. Well, TNA is like a huge blur to me, man. I just. Well, while you're on that, it looks like they're going to try to get rid of the TNA going to this new network. Uh, smart move. I must say. So, I don't know. They, they introduced another show for Saturday mornings. Or Saturday Saturdays. Yeah, it's like a recap show. But it's going to have some footage that wasn't there. So, they kind of want you to watch it to see the footage that wasn't there. I'll, I'll probably end up DVR in it. Eh, why not? I guess. I mean, I, I don't even watch the regular Impact, so I probably won't watch it. But I'm definitely gonna check it out on this new network. I want to see how they're gonna look, how they're gonna be produced, what the show's gonna be like, what it's gonna look like, who's still there. Their logo was pretty bad, though, man. If that's that's the new beginning, that's that's not a good way to start. It's very generic, very easy, very quick, but Somebody, uh, <laughs> just like a fucking octagon with a gradient in the back and just Impact on there, or TNA or whatever. Yeah, I could see it. It looks. I could see it being more for UFC than I could be in for them, but uh, whatever. A logo doesn't make or break you because WWE's logo blows too. So. Yeah, but it's it's. I don't know. Like you said, you know, sometimes less is more. WWE's is so simple, but it just it, it gets the message across. TNA's is just like sloppy, and it's I don't know. I'll say this. Colors thing. are off. It's just, I don't, I don't know. It's not it a is, but, it, but if it gets rid of the TNA, I'll give it a chance. Are they getting rid of the TNA name? Is it just going to be intact? One thing that says TNA come out yet. Yeah, it's every, everything saying impact. Impact wrestling, impact this, impact that. Um, so I don't know. I mean, when you look it up on cable, you, 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 I, I can't look up TNA. It won't pull up on mine. Impact Wrestling does, though. Yeah. So, 
I don't know. I mean, it looks like I mean they've been trying to get rid of the TNA name for a long time. Yeah, it's not it's not the best wrestling name. This is probably the their best opportunity to do it, in my opinion. Right. So. Absolutely agree with you. So, hook it up, bro. Hook it up, bro. There you go, man. But let's go back to Raw. Um, we got a backstage thing with uh, Jericho and Fandango, which is just like, really, like, do we really want to revisit this feud from last year's WrestleMania that Chris Jericho clearly, you know, admitted that he hate doing the job for the guy because... You know, they didn't do anything. I mean, not nothing against the guy, I guess, but, you know, they just didn't do anything with it. They didn't do a follow-up, so it's just like, why would I come out to WrestleMania and lose to a new guy, which you guys are just going to make a mockery out of, and just, it's basically just such a good jobber. So he, he dropped out to a jobber, essentially. But uh, I guess, I don't know, are they doing another match, man? I hope not. If we get a WrestleMania match with Chris Jericho and Fandango again, dude, that's no good. I don't see it. I hope not. But uh, yeah, I, I you said pretty much everything I was I, I thought about this uh, this segment myself, so I got nothing to add. Yeah, and then you got corny ass Michael Cole coming back, you know, showing clips of the TLC match and then the television blowing up in Ambrose's face, and he comes out. What a shocking ending! You know, really emphasizing on the show. Like we get the the, the pun, man. You, are you fucking kidding me, man? Do you really have to be this corny? Oh, he said shocking. Uh-huh. What a shocking ending. Uh, Do you agree, King? Oh, fuck off, dude. Yeah, anyway, that was... Uh... <laughs> garbage. <laughs> okay, there you go, garbage. Uh, now, let's get into this. Then we get into Renee Young, her fine ass, backstage with New Day. Yes. Okay. 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 This was hilarious. Man. <laughs> okay. I, I, you you got to give me a minute here, and I'm gonna have to calm myself down Please, because I, I'm gonna pull. I'm actually gonna put myself on mute for a minute because I know I'm gonna laugh. So go ahead. This angered me to no point. This whole fucking thing. This was horrible. Number one, it was a clusterfuck of talking. These guys were cutting each other off. Didn't know what anyone was gonna say. It was fucking horrible. Number two, what the fuck is Kofi talking about? Bars, dog, bars. I know what he's talking about, but god damn it, don't sound like an idiot. That shit was like five years ago when people said that shit. It, it, and really. Bars. Get bars, dog. Really. Bars, they, what, what you know about bars, they do not. Let me tell you what I know about them. I get drunk in them. They, <laughs> that's what I know about bars. Bars, son. This had to be the worst idea for them to do was get them all in this little thing. And whoever wrote it should be shot. I'm sorry. Why are you going to... Why are you going to make... Fu Who gives a shit if Big E sweats? I don't uh, care. I don't care. What? Why? What? What? I... I, I, I they, I thought this was one of the worst stable promos I have ever watched, bro. Bro. Are, or, they, are they poets or broets? <laughs> fucking awesome. I don't know, man. At first I thought, I mean, Big E talks like a preacher, but, you know, Kofi said they're just, they're just having a good time. They're just positive. Uh -huh. So... Wait a minute. Are you telling me three guys just took Bo Dallas's gimmick? Yeah. Is is that what you're telling me? Three no, guys just took over the gimmick that what we just saw? Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, man. Don't 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 worry. They're gonna they're gonna go the stereotypical way. They're gonna have they're gonna be sponsoring you know Popeye's chicken in a couple weeks and shit. Oh Jesus Christ! They are. Oh God. Well, if it wasn't stereotypical and racist, it is now, ladies and gentlemen. You know, they, they're going to do it, man. They got the guy coming out, you know, no, oh, we're positive, my brother. Like, come on, man. Is this... 
Biggie doesn't even talk like that in, in, in person, man. I mean, clearly he's from... I love yeah. calling him Brophy Kingston in the chat room. <laughs> Bro, Brophy Kingston. Our chat room is on fire tonight. Brophy Kingston. You guys are on fire. Yeah, the whole time. Oh, come on, my brother. We got to be positive. And... Uh... Look, I, I really thought... I don't know. I don't know. I just thought it, it it really made the three of them look. What's the word? I I, I want to say indie. It was like a bad indie promo. It was like it was like one of those uh, really bad promos on like Chikara. I've really never seen a lot of Chikara. The only thing I've, I've seen one segment of Chikara my whole life. I'm, I just haven't ever gotten into it. Some of it is terrible. Some of it is great. Oh my god! By the way, I, I'm gonna. Really random. Uh, I I randomly got uh, one of the Shakara DVDs a couple weeks ago. Match you guys should check out: Tommy Dreamer, uh, Jerry Lynn, and who the fuck was it? Tommy Dreamer, Jerry Lynn, and somebody else. I forgot who it was. But against Tatanka, the one two three kid. And just incredible as that Portuguese gimmick. What was his name when he was doing the gimmick? Uh, PJ Polacco? No, 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 no. You said just incredible, right? Yeah, something Al Aldoia. I don't know something. Oh, oh, Aldo Montoya. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, it was it was Aldo Montoya, one two three kid, and Tatanka against Tommy Dreamer, Jerry Lynn, and somebody else that's uh, escaping my mind. But uh, it was it was a Chikara. One random ass match. You know. Random matchup, but yeah, check it out, man. There was a lot of comedy segments. That that's good comedy done right. So yeah, probably a good idea to get me off of that shit. You got anything to say about that? Uh, about what? New Day? Yeah. Anything? Uh, I think Kofi has a lot of charisma, and they should probably get this guy out of there and actually let him go and let him talk. Cause he you know, carried he carried the commentary team. I thought I thought he was he was annoying at times, but uh, he was pretty decent. I mean. I don't know. Does he ever stop smiling, though? He doesn't. But I, I, I got to tell you, dude. I loved Kofi in that feud with Randy Orton. I wasn't watching that, so I can't comment. I, I, I you, you probably should. You know what? I guarantee, if you go on YouTube, there's like a highlights of that feud. Dude, I, I, there's no way my YouTube would uh, spell out the, the, the name of Kofi Kingston. I'll tell you my, what. My keyboard wouldn't let that happen. I'll tell you what. You're gonna see. You'll see a different Kofi if you watch that feud because I really thought he was about to get a push, and they had. You know, he did all these big spots, and he did this. He puts him through a table. He jumped off of the, excuse me, barricade, and put Randy Orton through a table outside the ring. It was awesome, and he was like. He jumped like 15 feet in the air when he did it. Nice. Yeah, I got to check it out. Then. I'm exaggerating, obviously. <clears throat> Different Kofi. The promos he was cutting were great. And I'll tell you what, I've seen a, a, a video of a heel Kofi, and it's good. Yeah, I bet, man. They, they should turn the whole fucking stable heel. I think it would work as a heel stable. I wonder if I like... that quick. What's that? Let me see. See how long that heel Kofi. It's it's an old Kofi one. It's it's really old. It's obviously before he went to WWE. Let me see if I can find that. But uh, meanwhile, you look for that. Go ahead. Um, I guess that was it. We got a uh, Rusev on the highlight reel with uh, Chris Jericho, which I, I enjoyed actually. Um, you know, but uh, it was it was awkward at times because the crowd. Didn't really respond to some of the jokes that Chris Jericho was doing. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's it's funny how that that they're actually like kind of mentioning the relationship, the real life relationship between uh, Lana and Rusev. Yeah, I thought that was a little weird, but uh, but no, 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 don't don't worry. He'll he'll be on uh, Total Divas in a year. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right, I found this. It's from 2006. It's a minute and 38. I'll just play a little clip of it real quick. All right, go ahead. Here you go. Hold on. Everyone else can join in here. It takes a second to kick in. He's outside here, so... 
Is this the best you can do with your buildings? Oh yeah, he's still Jamaican here. You see, your buildings are so horrible that the only thing that you can do is tear them down. Break them down to rubble, you see. You see here. Yeah. Look at all this. You have scrap metal here. It is disgusting. All right, you know what? I just realized something. It's an outside video, and he's pointing at a bunch of shit. But hold on, let me see if this is better. Mission. And on March 10th, this Friday, Kofi Nahaje Kingston is going to continue that mission. And that is to re... All right, I'd have to look for the actual part where he's actually a lot better, but... I can hear, I can hear it fine, though. Yeah, I forgot this was a promo that's outside, and he's pointing at a lot of shit. It's, it's, he's literally in a scrapyard here, but I don't know, man. They just need to let this guy go. They really yeah. do. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they, they just got to let him go. I mean, obviously the accent's fake, but, you know, you can tell in this he's not. This is at, at a company called Chaotic Wrestling. You ever heard of that? I have not. Was it uh, like a developmental for WWE? or? No, I don't think so. Let's see. We don't have to look. We've got the Google. It's actually still in business. Really? They had a match. They had a show 12-12-2014. It's in uh, Mass... It looks like it's based out of uh, Mass, somewhere in Massachusetts. Let's see here. Up in Boston. Up in Boston. Boston. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bas uh, Boston. Boston. Is that how they say it? Really? Boston. That's terrible. I just know they drive cars. They drink beer. Man. They drink. They, they, you know, they park their car. Anything that has an uh, an AR, they don't. <laughs> Spitting bars. Because my parents are both from Boston, and they say "shot" for short sometimes. Shot. Shot. There, there's the R. They don't pronounce the R's. Shot. And. Uh, they, you know, my mom sometimes will say "car." Bars. Can I get you a beer? And I'll go, yeah, go get it at the bar. It's kind of, it's, it's a little bit similar to the Philly accent. Like some of the really, you know, people that that really just grew up in Philly, like old, old school style. They say like, you know, like stuff like that sometimes. Similar. I've, I've, I've got some family in Boston still, and uh, Boston. Boston, and they all talk like that. I've got, uh, yeah, they all talk like that. Who okay, cares? Everyone's got weird accents. You should fucking come down here and hear these fucking hillbills talk. Yeah. Well, back back to the Rusev thing. Yeah. Uh, Fine. Thank you. He he hinted at them being butt puppets. Like this is the type of shit I'm talking. Like butt puppets. Really, Jericho? Yes, he said that. Butt puppets. He said, "Are you guys butt puppets?" I'm like what? And uh, I believe he started singing Lana and Rusev sitting in a tree. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And yeah. I'm, I'm I'm disappointed in the, in the Detroit crowd for uh, putting over you know bullshit like this. Yeah, he said Putin's butt puppets. No, whatever, dude. He's he's it's, it's garbage either. It's, it's yeah. actually in here. I wouldn't doubt it. Let's see who wrote this. Who who was doing this? Mark Middleton at WrestlingInc.com. But uh. Uh, it surprised me that he he uh, referred to Rusev as like a you know like a sweaty cab driver, which I thought was, was kind of racist. But you know, I thought I thought they were you know having all these anti-bullying campaigns and all this shit going on. But no, it only would have been racist if he was uh, Mid Eastern, Indian. Well, he kind of is. He's like if he guy. called, like if he called Kali. A sweaty cab driver? That would be racist. Well, he's Bulgarian, dude. Yeah, but that's like you know, that's 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 um, pretty much like as as much Middle Eastern as as, as it is Russian. Uh, all right, whatever you say, man. I mean, it, the Middle East influence is definitely in their blood, man. I mean, it's not. I mean, you could say. I mean, he's definitely dark. He's not like most Russians, pasty white. So yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, he's, I don't, he's not even Russian, man. Who? Rusev. 
He's Bulgarian. Yeah. Uh, is he actually? I don't even know if he is. Look at the look at the tattoo on his arm. Oh yeah, you're right. Bulgarian you're flag right. tattooed on his arm. If you're not Bulgarian, you might want to get that. I mean, if you got it just for the gimmick, hey. Oh man, you're, you're doing a good job. You are living the gimmick. You deserve the push. Yeah, that's that's a 1970s wrestler right there. That's, that's some good shit right there. That's like Sandman not leaving his house. Fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fucking uh, yeah. Next we had New Day against Goldust. New Day. Okay, we probably shouldn't even get New into the day. Well, they didn't even get into this match because the whole fucking commentary team, all they did was talk about Big E sweating for about 10 minutes. Oh, my God. This commentary is, uh, I don't know. Anyway, let, let's, let's, I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what they were not doing. They were not spitting bar, son. <laughs> That's what they were not doing. Tell them, bro. They weren't spitting bars, bro. I just did, man. You know what we're doing tonight? We're spitting bar, son, bro. Spitting bars, son. What you know about bars, son? Yeah. What you know about bars, son? My God. I should have got that clip before we went on the air. What up, bro? What you know about bars, son? Start pulling some clips before we go on the air the next day. Yeah. I'll start doing that. <laughs> nice. After this, I stopped taking notes, but I guess next is uh, Jay Uso against uh, The Miz. Dude, our chat room is going bro crazy. Man. Brosev. It's a Brogarian. Brogarian. <laughs> Vladimir Broton. <laughs> Brootic wrestling, they called chaotic. Oh, wrestling. my God. The chat room has just gone bro nuts. Oh, man. We're broing it out tonight, man. Oh, God. Yeah, man. Vince Russo's going to have to. He's going to have to put a copyright on that bro, or we're going to beat the shit out of him. Man. Might have to change our name to the Brocast. <laughs> the hot tag broadcast. Hot tag broadcast. The <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking we should, dude. I like it. Broadcast. Broadcast. <laughs> uh, um, we we'll, might actually have to do that. We'll, we'll we'll AKA it. We'll put AKA the hot bro. Tag. No, no, no. We have to do the AKA the hot tag broadcast is better, man. Gotta be the broadcast. Tuesday oh night broadcast, God. man. We're taking over the Tuesday night Titan spot, man. Tuesday <laughs> I can't believe our chat room. <laughs> you fucking maniacs. Okay. Anyway, oh uh, yeah, Renee Young. Back <laughs> were you with the Renee Young segment with the uh, Miz and Miz Dow? Or were you past that? Uh, I, I passed out during that, but I uh, skipped forward through. Oh, I pretty much skipped through the match too. I don't really. All right. Know. Anyway, Kane and Adam Rose. Garbage. Uh, like a thirty-second match, thank God. But uh. Oh, I was gonna say Kane and Adam Rose. Yeah. Anyway. Next. Uh, they, I I did like uh Jimmy Jacobs coming out as one of the uh. What are yeah. they called? Uh, uh, Rosebud, I saw Jimmy. Rosebud, there you go. Yeah. Uh, um, honestly, I think Jimmy Jacobs could could do that gimmick better than uh, uh, what's the guy's name? Adam Rose. He probably could. I also saw Taylor Hendricks. I don't know who that is. Obviously, uh, she was on TNA for a while. She's a hot little redhead. And uh, this, this is a this is a proper time to click that uh, click that cricket sound because I don't know who that is. Oh, because I was going to click this one instead. She makes me feel kind of funny. Like when we used to climb the rope in gym class. I can't really hear that. Ah, forget it. All right. Bye, uh, Yeah, trust me. Uh, yeah, there was Taylor Hendricks and uh, Scarlett Bordeaux was there also. You know, you should, you should know who she is. I don't. <laughs> She's on uh, ROH. Doesn't matter, man. I I told you, man. Females wrestling, dude. That's my piss break, man. I don't know any. I just don't. I watch for one thing. I know Trish Stratus and Lita. Well, those are they're awesome. That's all. That's like the only ones I know. I know Trish and Lita and Fabulous Moolah and unfortunately, like the Bella Twins, and that's about it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, man. I mean, look. There's only one reason to watch the chicks, anyway, man. There you go. Boobies. Boobies. There you go. 
That's it. It's the only reason you need to watch. There you go. What was, what was the next match, man? <sighs> what was the next match? Um, Uso and Miz. Uh, Heyman, Jericho. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to forget that. Yeah, I, I, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, the fucking dirt sheet leaked that uh, Brock was coming out, so we knew prior to the show. But uh, I thought, I thought it was a good use of Brock, having him come out. You know, spoiler alert, twice in in the night. But uh, yeah, I thought it was too. Brock came out. down as usual. Looks like a badass coming down to the ring. Um, <laughs> why did he, Why didn't he have the belt though? <laughs> I figured he just left it at some hunting lodge. He was that. What an asshole, man. The guy comes back after like four and a half months of disappearing. It didn't, I, even brings the, <laughs> it didn't even bring the belt with him. I would love to know, bro, if uh, if that belt he came down with was a replica. Honestly, man, it's funny you say that because I really think it was. I think he just forgot it. And, you know, during the second segment, they're like, dude, you, we have to find you a belt. There's no way you can go out. You know, these fucking marks are going to kill us on Twitter the next day. You have to go out, bro. Brock flying in from some hunting trip in the Arctic he was on and being like, I'll come, but I ain't got the belt. Yeah. Broke Lesnar. Bro, bro, broke Lesnar. Bro. He's not broke, but he's, he's, he's a bro of ours, so he's broke Lesnar. They're even, they're even saying they're going to they're gonna catch movies on bro flicks. <laughs> bro flicks. We've really got this. We brainwashed our chat room tonight. There you go, man. Bro everything. All bro everything. Oh, oh, look at you. There you go, man. That should be the name of the name of the episode. All bro everything. Well, that, I think we're stealing Eva Marie's gimmick, sort of. Fuck her. For all, oh, God, I wish I could. <laughs> Jesus Christ, have you seen that woman? Yes, I have. God damn, that is a I, fine woman. I concur. I uh yeah man I I like this uh you know Chris Jericho's job and not to Fandango so why not uh put over Brock Lesnar and make him look more of a badass did but uh, that, that that looked like a stiff ass at five though <laughs> did did you did you see this whole thing yes did you see the look that Jericho sold on his face when he did the code breaker and Brock threw him down no I didn't I didn't really pay attention but uh what happened. I wonder if I can go back and get that a picture of that. Jericho looked at him like death was coming at him. He would he looked so scared. I'm sure he was just acting. I'm sure it was all planned out. But Jericho looked scared to death. I don't. I don't blame him. <laughs> I, I I don't either. But let me I wonder. So yeah, that I just wondered if you saw that face because he did look legit scared. I'm glad he sold it. But uh, yeah, I, I liked the attack, man. I thought it was, I thought it was, uh, thought it was brilliant to bring the guy out twice. Why not? I definitely thought so. It was good to see him. Obviously, you know, they needed him. I, I think they need to bring him back now. But did you see the sign that says uh, uh, "Conquer the streak, disappear and repeat"? Yeah, yeah. I like that. <laughs> that was a good sign. Yeah, I like that. That was fucking pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. Oh, no, no one's got a picture of it. I can probably uh, do a screen capture and post it tomorrow. Yeah, eventually. I I, I could, too, if I really wanted to, but uh, I just wanted to see if I can get a quick pic of it. But, yeah, that was his face was classic. Yeah, so classic. What was next on the show? <sighs> Fandango. Uh... Comes back, was supposed to have a match with Roman Reigns. Oh, Jesus. Uh, well, I don't know who was supposed to have a match with, but Reigns comes out. Oh, yeah, that's when the big show came out and got knocked out and shit. Came out, and Reigns, it just, I mean, what a promo says, <laughs> I'm going to punch you in the mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, they got to they gotta stop scripting this shit, man. <laughs> He's terrible. I can't tell if that was Roman Reigns or Mark Henry. I just did. <laughs> Probably the same shit. I think it's the same voice for both of them, too. <laughs> Why not, man? Why not? Why not? Um, 
I think that's what he said. You come down here, I'm punching you in the mouth. Yeah. Um, Big he, did. One thing. he did. He lived up to it. Punch you in your mouth. Punch you in your mouth. I've really got to start getting clips. I'm punching your motherfucking mouth. Oh, God. Yeah, but uh, I actually, I actually kind of like that. I mean, I wouldn't mind, you know, Roman Reigns and Big Show. What's better than Big Show? And you know, so, I, and I guess, I guess, is that why they're beating Roman to like make Big Show look big so they can feed him to Reigns? I guess that's. You mean that's the mission? You mean Big Bro? Big Bro. I'm sorry, yeah, Big Bro. Right. And Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns and Big Bro. <laughs> that's yeah. Well, they're dead. Someone body just put Broman Reigns. <laughs> there you go, man. Broman Reigns, Big Bro, and uh, fucking Eric Broen. <laughs> and Chris. Uh, Don't forget the next match is the Miz versus Jimmy Jimmy Usbro. Yeah, Ubro. <laughs> Usbro. Jimmy Ubro, man. Jimmy Ubro. I actually like what they're doing with uh, the whole uh, Miz and and uh, Naomi thing, though. You know. At least they've got him in a legit storyline. Yeah, at least it's doing something, something huh? Haven't. Yeah, it's been a oh, it's it's just been a normal thing. But up, oh, Dean Ambrose. <laughs> They're just yeah. doing more bros. Dean Ambrose. Yep. Seth Seth Brolins. <laughs> Bro. They're just shoehorning shit now. Okay, let's keep going with Raw. There you go, man. We're, we're, we're still making pretty good time here. <laughs> yeah, I guess, man. <laughs> we're like pretty much three hours in. But, uh... We started until a little after 7.30 or 8.30 your time. Did we? Oh, yeah, we did, I guess. Yeah, because I got here late and... But, uh... Yeah, man. Uh, I, I, I didn't mind this, you know. Fonda yeah. actually faced uh, Roman Reigns tonight and got his ass whooped, so... Uh, uh, I I I could guess the match right now. Yep. I, I'm I'm not even gonna do it because I it's it's totally I, I know it. You just you know, he he comes in, he screams, he shakes his long hair. Yep. Clothesline, Superman clothesline, punch, beer, Superman punch, or clothesline, Superman punch. Uh, roar back, shake the hair, spear, win. See, and and, and the thing with everybody saying that, see, including myself, you know. With the five moves of Doom, with Cena and everything, at least Cena can do a clothesline or something. I mean, it, or like a you know a drop kick or a fucking suplex or a power bomb or something, man. Reigns literally has like like four moves that he just repeats over and over and over again. I think he really needs to add a couple little bit of you know, just just small stuff, you know. Maybe even a couple punches and kicks. He barely does that. It's just like the Superman punch. The guy goes down for five minutes. He starts screaming around. Another Superman punch. By the time the guy wants to get up, it's a spear and it's done. Yep. So that's 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 a formula to Roman Reigns. That's the... I, I still like the guy. I think he has potential. I think they just gotta give him some more moves and, you know, let him let let loose the leash and stop scripting his shit and just, you know, let him go out there and create his own dialogue. I think they need to put him in some lower matches and don't give him that belt as soon as you want to. I just think it's too early. But He's not ready, man. I agree, but you know what? It's just our opinion, and they're going to do what they want to do when they want to do it. So He, he stutters in, in a one-minute promo. I mean, Well, in all fairness, Rollins, Rollins did the same thing last night. Yeah, but Rollins, he goes out there and he talks for 30 minutes, man. Well, yeah, but he did it back last night in a quick promo. But uh, everybody stumbled. I've heard everybody do it. Yeah, but he, he doesn't speak much. I mean, Rollins, to his credit, he's pretty much been the main guy. He's been getting as much you know TV time as seen in the last couple of months. He's been yeah. at every main event. He's getting plenty of backstage promos. He's starting Raw every week. He's getting a lot of promo time. So if he messes up, it's, you know, the, the ratio is a, there's a huge difference. Um, you know, Roman Reigns, he's, he's spoke maybe five minutes in his whole career, and half of it he's fucked up, so. Yeah. Oh, Fan Dang Bro. Fan Dang Bro. There you go. Bro. Or Fan Dang Bro. Oh, that sounds kind of gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God.
God, they're having fun. El Matador. No, El Matabrones. They're, they're putting Albert Bro Del Rio. <laughs> Del Rio. Del Rio. All right, we got to stop this. Jeez, that's, a, that's, a, that's a tongue twister. We need to get to this last fucking match. Jesus. All right, last match. Steel Cage match. Rollins and Cena. Go well, ahead. Press uh, that let's see. button. Last match, though, was uh, who's the winner? Who won that? Jimmy Usbro. Um, Usbro. Right. You're right, yeah. you. Uh, I'm sorry, you were going. The steel cage is being lowered. And, you know, thank God Jericho made this match because the cage was already up there. Yeah. I mean, what timing, what, what incredible timing this is that there's already a cage up there and they want to have a cage match. I thought it was amazing. I was very shocked. Yeah, it's genius. Okay. <laughs> Enough of my sarcasm because it's not... <laughs> All right. <laughs> Eva's match segment? No, that was just my bad joke. Eva's match. <laughs> All right, man. Steel cage match, Rollins, and, and boring-ass Cena. Uh... You know, like you said, it was actually a pretty good match. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give it to him. Cena can work from time to time. Actually, this match... It... Do what? No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you, you, you cut out for a second there. So this match was really good. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, yeah, um, it was a good match. And like you said, Cena threw that clothesline. Rollins fucking went inside out, did a backflip. It was awesome. Yeah, and I actually like the AA from the top rope. <laughs> that looked like a brutal bump. It was a good match. You know, every now and then you you got to give Cena some credit where credit is due. He can pull out a good match like this. Although, look who he was working with. I know a lot of people, oh, well, you know, he can pull out good matches from people. He pulls out good matches from people that can have good matches. Right. Yeah, he has good matches with like people like Rollins and Daniel Bryan and CM Punk and guys like that. Not with like a... You know, like Titus O'Neil and Heath Slater and guys like that. I like Heath Slater. I don't. <laughs> I like Heath. Anyway, uh, yeah, that that uh, you, you were right. The AA from the top was good. Um, I like how Rollins tried to get out of the cage as soon as he got in. <laughs> like yeah. a chicken should heal. Yeah, it was. It, it was. It, it, I, I, Rollins, I think, is really playing doing great at this part. I mean, he's... I agree, man. He stepped it up, but I think it's just a bit too much of him on TV. I think he's being overexposed. A little bit, but his promos are a lot better. He oh, yeah. sound like a fucking Muppet. I don't know what he did to his voice. I don't know if he smoked some cigars, inhaled them, or what, but... Yeah, whiskey and cigars, man. He needs to take fucking Ziggler out with him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking him and Ziggler need to be smoking, uh, inhaling cigars and drinking rock gut whiskey. There you go, man. There you go. With the whiskey rocks. There you go. That's what I would do. But classy um, gentleman. But uh, yeah, this was I like the match, man. And then you know, of course, at the end, we got Brock. Or I'm sorry, broke. <laughs> Paul yeah. Heyman coming out, Lesnar, you know, gave him a couple German suplexes and gave him the F5, which I liked. I'm just hoping, you know, the WWE formula usually is when the guy gets beat down, uh, he gets his payback at the pay-per-view. So I'm guessing we're not going to see Brock until uh, Royal Rumble again. And I, I hope that, you know, Cena going down this time doesn't mean that he's going to win at the pay-per-view, which I, I don't think it's going to happen, but... With Cena, you know, nothing nothing surprises me. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We will. We will. But, so. uh, yeah, I mean, that obviously Mercury and uh, Noble did everything they could to, you know, put the odds into uh, Rollins' favor, and it just didn't happen. But, um, you know, uh, Rollins did end up winning this match. He walked out of the cage, which I actually liked. I understand. He probably should have pinned Cena, but they're not going to let him pin Cena. Dude, they're, they're, come on. It's not happening. It, it doesn't matter. I was fine. Actually, I thought the way they did it worked out better. He walked slowly, picked up his case, and walked out of the cage after Brock put him down. 
And after Brock put him down, he did give him the curb, the curb stomp. Yeah. And what I thought was interesting was uh, how Brock looked at, uh, you know, Seth Rollins and uh, Paul Heyman extended out his hand. If you notice, Paul looked at Brock before he did it, though, which made it even better. Yeah. He looked back at Brock like, should I? And yeah, he got, his, got his approval. And yes, and I, I thought that made that whole segment just a little bit better. It's the little things sometimes, man, you know? Yeah. That's, that's why I like uh, Ambrose. He does a lot of that little stuff that, that many people don't catch, but, you know. Yeah, and uh, uh, speaking of Ambrose, he, he did a uh, two-part interview on Chris Jericho, if anybody wants to listen to it. Both parts are up right now. Yeah, I got to check that out. Good little interview. I mean, you know, Jericho kind of shuts his mouth and lets Dean talk, and Dean talks a lot. Yeah. But uh, great interview. If you want to check it out, you guys know how to get it. There you go, man. So that was a roll for you guys. Uh, got a piece of news here that let's talk about before we get out of here because i got to get up early. Oh, news, bro. News. News, bro. News, bro. Uh, it appears that uh, Jim Ross is going to be uh, doing the New Japan Wrestle Kingdom uh, pay-per-view with uh, Matt Stryker. That's going to be his uh, commentary team. Really? Yeah, Matt Stryker. I didn't see that, but that's 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 a good. I like that. Yeah, I, I don't mind it. No, I, I'm telling you, dude. I, Stryker got a lot of shit in WWE for the way he announced, but I like it. I like how he uh, kind of shitted on the Miz on uh, Lucha Underground. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. You heard it. Yeah, I did. I'm actually up to episode six. Really enjoying it. You heard it. He said. He was making fun of the the let's let's be nice let's call them exoticos. Well, all all, all the gay personalities and rest. He, he said like you know Cordis George and all these guys. <laughs> he threw the Miz in the middle. <laughs> he brought up he's gorgeous George, and then he brought up who else? Adrian's uh, Adrian's uh, Adrian Street. Adonis. Uh, Adrian, yeah, he's that's yeah, that's right. He said gorgeous George, Adrian Adonis, and of course the Miz. <laughs> yeah, I liked it, man. No, he did not. I liked it. I, li I like how he said it so casual too. He didn't really emphasize on it. It's just like oh, the Miz. <laughs> Vampiro never missed a beat. He just kept going. Yeah, he no sold it, man. He just kept it moving. <laughs> you know, I guarantee if they showed them, man, Vampiro was looking at him like, what the yeah. fuck are you doing? I'll, I'll tell you what, though. Speaking of the commentary team in Lucha Underground, I like how they have the camera set up on, on the commentary desk, how it gives you a different, like a, almost like a wide angle of, of, you know, screenshot of, you know, that the commentary team instead of just like, you know, how the, you know, WWE or TNA does it where it's just like a, you know, cameraman standing right in front of them. Yeah, yeah. I like it. it's, it's, it's different, man. I'm just going to uh, the camera shot off the side where they had it because, like I said, they would stand up and all you'd see is fucking two crotches on the fucking camera. Yeah, now it's now it's right on the desk, so it's yeah. good. Yeah, it looks like it, it looks like a it, it's a different camera shot, but it just looks like right. a webcam basically sitting there. It's just there. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it's like built into the desk. Yeah, so. but um, so you're on episode six. I am on episode six. I haven't seen seven yet, but uh, I'm really digging it so far. So you uh, saw the ladder match? I have seen the ladder match. I thought it was awesome. All right. I was going to ask you what you thought of that because I thought that was a great match. I, I, honestly, I like all of it so far, man. I think all of it is good. Mil Muertes is good. Drago is good. You know, King uh, Quer Quer is it Cuernos? Yeah. You know, all that stuff is good. You know, Octagon Jr. is good. Or yeah. Pentagon Jr., whatever his name is. Um Prince Puma, of course, you know, John, Johnny Mundo and Big Rick. Uh, I don't really like Big Rick too much, but he does his job well. I think it, it adds to the Lucha effect. But Johnny Moon, bro. Johnny Moon, bro. Uh, yeah. Good stuff, man. Yeah, I, I definitely think that, that Drago guy is, or I'm sorry, Drag Bro guy. Is, Drag Bro. I def he's fucking unbelievable. Him and Phoenix... Yeah, Phoenix is awesome. Phoenix right now is probably the. I mean, he, he use. Did you see? The, I told you to watch how he uses the fucking ropes. Uh yeah, I mean yeah, I, I watched all the matches that he's had. He like dances on them. Yeah, he's really. He, yeah, he's really athletic. He's like switching feet and doing jumps and. 
I'm like, what? How 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 is this guy balancing on this shit? Yeah, I really think they should bring in guys like X Pac and Sabu and stuff too. I'll give them some time. I I, I mean, I, it looks like they're gonna mix. I mean, with the I mean, obviously, if they're throwing ladder matches in, they're gonna do a little mix up of um of uh of things. So hopefully, they will start bringing in some regular guys. I think right now they're just trying to be very different with the lucha stuff. Smart, but I don't know. I, 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 but I'm a little worried. I'm sure you read the uh, thing I posted. Right. Yeah, that that really worries me. But at the same time, it's like how credible is the source? Because but it's, uh, uh, by the thing I posted, I mean they're getting a little bit of a. They're a little worried because they they're not getting the ratings that they were expecting. Um, yeah. Right. But again, how how credible is 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 the source? Because it says that it's it's reported that each episode costs between a. Hundred thousand and three hundred thousand. That's that's a big range in, in dollars, man. I mean, I don't really know. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm sure it has to do with you know who's on the show and how many vignettes. Because, dude, if if you, you, you watch those backstage vignettes, they are not cheap to make. First yeah. of all, they're on film. No, even 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 the ladders, dude. The ladders that they used were had you know it had like the rusty look to it. You know, kind of like the arena does. Which I, I really appreciate little stuff like that, man. Like the atmosphere adds so much to the to the show, which is something like like WWE really lacks. Cause I don't know, man. It just it's like the same same uh you know same uh fucking I don't know how to say, it, man. Yeah, they have the same build for every fucking uh, pay per view, every Raw, SmackDown. It's the same set. It's nothing the is different. But you know, like, like especially formula. Yeah, you tuned out for a while. I'm sorry. It's it's a formula. It, it, it's just the 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 A B C, and they do it all the time. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm talking about the atmosphere. The atmosphere really adds to Lucha Underground. Like the rusty atmosphere. It looks old. It looks run down. It looks like it's in the ruins. I like it, man. You know, that's what WWE lacks. That's what uh. TNA gained when they were doing the New York shows at the ball uh, at the uh, what is it called the Manhattan uh, ballroom uh, yeah. whatever yeah the Hammerstein ballroom um, yeah right. so I, that. I, I enjoy it man I think the atmosphere adds a lot I totally agree and yeah you know what they were at, at the Manhattan Center I'm not the man I'm not the ballroom I'm sorry you were yeah, right ballroom is like downstairs or whatever yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, you, you were right to begin with. The only thing bad about the atmosphere is it's really dark, and for me, I, I can't watch it on TV, so I have to watch it on YouTube on my television, and it looks really grainy and, you know, shitty quality. But other than that, you know, if I got the channel, I'm sure it, it looked crisp and nice and, you know. You mean the uh, Aunt Lucha? Yeah. Oh, it looks good on the ones I've been posting for you. Yeah, I know, but once I blow it up on my on my, on my uh, PS... Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know, man. I... I think we ran out of space on uh, Google Drive, so we'll have to figure yeah. something else out. Yeah, I mean, I, I can just watch them on YouTube. There's a bunch of people that, that post them up. And they should be, man. That's that, 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 that show is really just a breath of fresh air right now to me. I'm really surprised that the ratings are so down, though. I don't know if... All right, I, I was actually thinking about it because I don't know if the ratings are down. Um, they're still getting a higher rating than than their highest show ever had. They're getting some of the biggest ratings they ever had, first of all. So that's not bad. Um, the station isn't huge. Got to remember that. But they're only on seven episodes. Give them some time. Word of mouth takes a while, dude. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure Friends wasn't popular the first fucking, you know, two episodes. Yeah. I mean, look at ECW. Maybe it was. I don't know. But it's going to take time. It's going to take probably, you know, a, a good few months or even a year to get the word out, man. Well, hopefully they last, man. I really I really enjoy it, so I wish them well. I don't yeah. want to see it. Really, yeah, I hope it lasts, too. I hope n nothing goes wrong. I hope that... Uh, you know, well, 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 you know, everyone say, well, they pulled their largest show that was supposed to be huge. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sure you all like looking at Eve Torres, but bye-bye. 
Yeah. Yeah, it was some show called Matador. 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 But, uh, but yeah, that was that. So I don't know. I just hope it keeps going. And um, what a show, man! This the 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 seventh episode is just as good. Yeah, I gotta check that out. Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, you got guy. I mean, Vince Russo now is really behind Lucha Underground too, because he had a uh, Chris De Joseph on, or you know, what was his yeah. name, Dick the Johnson, producer or whatever. Yeah, big or yeah, who was who was Big Dick Johnson in the WWE? So, you know, he had him on, and he Big Dick Johnson. <laughs> that is a terrible name. That was his name, Big Dick Johnson. That sounds like an XPW name, man. Big Dick Johnson. What the fuck? Did you ever see him? No, man. He would come down to the ring in a basically a fucking diaper spraying baby oil all over, dancing around. Right. When was this from? This has to be from the time I stopped watching. It has to be. You've never seen Big Dick Johnson? I stopped watching from 2002 until 2012. I watched from 91 until, two th- until uh, 2002. Stop from 2002 until 2012. Oh my god, dude! You're gonna have to check out a Big Dick Johnson video on yeah. YouTube. I'm I'm scared to search for Big Dick Johnson on my computer, man. That's that's a scary thought. Uh, you can probably search out Krista Joseph. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd rather do that. So Chris- I pull my computer the next time. <laughs> type in the letter B. Big Dick Johnson pops up. <laughs> Fucking search for <laughs> search tab. What kind of shit is this guy into? I don't know. Our chat room is still hitting bro with everything. Oh my god, man! They were they were going strong tonight. They are. They're fucking real strong tonight. Real. They're 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 too strong tonight. Yeah. <laughs> the hot tag broadcasters going wild. <laughs> the broadcast. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to jump in this chat room one night. Dude. They're having a lot. Uh, yeah. Re- remind me next week, man. I'll do it. I will. I post it on Facebook every week. Yeah, I got I got to get in there. But, but uh, what else do we have? Do we have any other news before uh, we get out of here? It's getting you know, kind of right now to take a look. I think there's only a few things. Let's see. What do I got? This is all stuff we had already talked. We've we've gone over time and time again. I got a couple of things here. By the way, uh, I watched CZW's uh, Cage of Death this weekend. It was all right. Not the not the greatest, but it was definitely definitely worth checking out. Nice. They brought back the the weed whacker, man. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Calling you Broheen. There you go, man. Broheen. Broheen. Not gonna look up Big Dick Broson. I am not. I am certainly not. He won't even type the words Big Dick in his computer. Why would Why would I, man? Listen to what you're saying. You know what? You have a good point. I shouldn't even have said that. Christ. Let me. Let me pump on my phone real quick. Why yeah. the fuck would I do that? Oh man, unless I'm unless I'm Adrian Adonis or Gorgeous George or the Miz, according to Matt Strider, <laughs> why would I? Fuck yeah. Let me take a quick peek here and see if there's anything that's worth talking about. I'm on my uh, on my RSS feed looking for some news. Uh, do you want to know how many times the WWE app has been downloaded? Not really, but I'm sure you're going to tell me, so go ahead. <laughs> I'm not even going to do it. I was completely joking. All right, good. <laughs> I definitely did not didn't care. Um, one thing I did post was uh, on Facebook was a little article about draws. I did see that. It was a good article. I want to read it. It kind of shows that he's uh, still fucking going strong, man. You know, but he's. Uh, I salute him, man. That's good shit. I, I do too, man. It really kind of just puts him in a different light, and he hasn't. Uh, he's he's he just hasn't let it get him down completely, man. He's going for it. So, do do do. I'm looking, looking, looking. What do you think of them calling man, I also, uh, vigilante? Uh, I hate it, man. <laughs> it's it's I. I don't even like what they're doing with Sting, man. I mean, yeah, I just, I don't know, man. And Undertaker coming back with Bray Wyatt, I mean, I would love to see that. that that's a feud I'd like to see. But then you look at the pictures from, you know, a couple of weeks ago from, from the Undertaker at, like, the airport or something. It's like, ah, I don't think he should wrestle. Yeah. 
I don't know. I don't know if he is or isn't, but uh, I could... Uh, Man, you better get a lot of just for men. Yeah. Yeah. I could see him not doing it this year. Better, go, better have a Costco membership. Get that shit wholesale. Get a couple boxes of that. Yeah. Better need it. All right. I was just hoping you hated it as much as I did. Yeah. Um... Speaking of Alberto Del Rio, who we mentioned a little while ago, who is now going by Alberto El Patron. Patron. Uh, first RO, he's going to be an ROH, and his awesome. first ROH opponent is Christopher Daniels. Really? Uh huh. Awesome. Reading this off of WrestlingInc.com, so I'm not making this up. Awesome. I'm excited. Daniels tweeted a picture of it. So that actually uh, makes sense and should be a great match. I, you know, I'm excited for him going to Ring of Honor, man. That's gonna be good, man. That's gonna be good. A lot of good matches. Um, you know what? Let me jump on the Facebook because there was something I wanted to bring up here. By the way, speaking of Ring of Honor, anybody, uh, anybody from my area listening to this? Royal Rumble weekend, Ring of Honor will be in town. Uh, also, Chikara is going to be doing shows at the ECW Arena, and Ring of Honor is doing shows at the ECW Arena, so check it out. Oh, sweet. Yeah, it's going to be nice, man. Saturday, I think we got Chikara, and Saturday night we got Ring of Honor, and I think Sunday we got Jim Ross doing the, doing the stand-up thing that he does, or you know, sit down, or whatever the fuck he does. It's and, like uh, a show or something. Yeah, whatever it is. And then, uh, you know, Sunday night, of course, Royal Rumble. So I'm, I'm probably going to go to the Ring of Honor and Royal Rumble. Jim Ross thing, I, I, I don't see myself going to that. I'll probably be getting wasted in the parking lot, tailgating. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, I'll go to the Ring of Honor, though. I don't blame you. Let me see here. I'm looking at a story here. Mike Tanay, his new role with TNA revealed. Okay. Uh, looks like Mike Tanay is going to take over there and host their new Saturday show, which starts at uh, January 17th at 10 p.m. 9 Central on Destination America. Ma hosted by The Professor, Mike Tanay. He will dive deeper into the most recent episode of Impact Wrestling will, with exclusive content and never-before-seen footage. I like it, but at the same time, it doesn't say never before seen matches. It says footage, so I'm guessing it's probably going to be a bunch of backstage stuff. Um, I would say they're probably going to mix it up with a match here and there, and I hope so. Both. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Um, I mean, TNA being a two-hour show, it's really hard to recap it again in an hour. It's going to be really boring. Yeah. Meanwhile, we got wrestling back on Saturday night. I'm not too. I'm not too. Uh, I'm 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 pretty happy about that. Uh, Saturday night. Mm-hmm. Uh, what wrestling is that? This show. What TNA? TNA's brand new show. I'm sorry, Impact Wrestling. They're not. I'm telling you, they're not using this TNA name anymore. I thought it was Saturday morning. This is Saturday night. It's at uh, ten. Actually, it doesn't say AM or PM. It just says ten nine Central. No, it's. I think it's morning, man. That'd be even better. Yeah, it's got to be morning, man. They're not going to do a Saturday night show. Dude, that's awesome. It's got to be that. I don't, honestly, I am. I don't. I'm. I'm. I don't know if the show's going to suck, but I think that's going to be pretty fucking good either way. I'll watch it. Yeah. Well, you let me know if it's worth watching because I already have my dose of wrestling a week. Yeah, I'll DVR it. Um, I'm, I'm pretty much in my limit with wrestling weekly. Well, it seems like you're not the only one. Uh, WWE Raw rating lowest viewership in two years. Can you blame them? No. This is like one of the first times they haven't broke four million viewers in any Three hours in all three hours. Man, that's and not good, man. That means that a lot of people just didn't watch at all anymore. Here you go. 8 p.m. 
3.7 million. 9 p.m., 3.48 million. 10 p.m., this is their last over. this is the overrun, and when Brock came down, 3.39 million. Man, did they drop. Awesome. Um, well, more people got to see Fandango and Chris Jericho than they got to see Lesnar. More people got to see, yeah. So, wow. I mean, it's not really shocking, though. I mean, look at the product. It's really been stale recently. And I know it's going to pick up in the, you know, the next couple of weeks actually are going to be terrible, so. Yeah, they dropped to a one. Let me see. This is the lowest since December 24th, 2000. This is the lowest bef since Christmas Eve, 2012. And that doesn't even count because you would expect that to be low, so. You would expect that to be low, yeah. 1.27 demo rate. If you take that out and don't count that in, this is probably the lowest they've had in like five years. Probably, man. They probably don't want to admit. Yeah, that's dead. Wow. I didn't realize it was that fucking low. It's probably the, the, the lowest since The Miz has been the champ. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Think, uh, yeah, but yeah, I just thought I'd mention that because I posted it right before I got here today. Yeah, but uh, I don't know, man. I mean, can you can you blame the people? But especially the next couple weeks is going to be really slow with Christmas and stuff. It's going to be some bad, bad stuff. Expect to see a lot of, you know, uh, fucking midgets coming out. Expect Santa coming out. Expect the bull. Expect uh, the fucking what was it the frog? What else do they have? The the grumpy cat's probably going to come out with Santa. Double expect that, yeah, expect that type of shit. We're not going to get. Uh, a lot of good stuff in the next couple of weeks, but um, hopefully, hopefully in January it's gonna pick up right before the Rumble because you know that's road to WrestleMania, so that's good stuff. Yeah. So let's see. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But um, do do do. There's not much in the news because it's it was still a lot of crap about CM Punk last week. Yeah. Well, yeah. I know about CM Punk, man. Jesus Christ. Yeah. There's a nut. There's a. Uh, there's a there's a cool little uh, video. Know that uh, doing a moonsault. It's a little quick, little 27 second video I posted on the Facebook. I, I did watch that, man. That's that's why I like the Young Bucks, man. They're fucking awesome. That's pretty funny. Which they are. They they're just having fun, man. That's what I like. They're bringing like. You know what? You can have fun and shake hands, okay? Yeah, whatever, man. I, you know. But <laughs> honestly, man, you know, you hear these stories. And, you know, none of us are wrestlers, so we don't fucking know. You hear these stories about wrestlers, and they used to actually have fun on the road, and you know, prank people, and pull ribs, and and do you know, bang rats, and do all this fun shit. And then you hear nowadays they're like, you know, trading comic books and playing Nintendo DS and fucking doing all this weird shit. But, you know, you get guys like the Young Bucks that are having fun again. It's like, all right, this is like, you know, this is like old school again, you know. These guys are fucking around. They're having fun on the road. You know, they're not taking this shit too serious. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> I like what Kevin just said. Yeah, Bunny's taking tombstones isn't burning up the ratings. Who knew? There you go. I forgot the Bunny. How could I forget that? Yeah, you're going to get him with Santa. Bunny took a tombstone. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So... Yeah, the, the bunny is gonna be with Santa. I call it now. You mean Mick? Yeah. Oh God. Mick Broly? Jesus, man, Mick Foley's lost his goddamn mind. Mick Broly? Mick Broly, yes. Come on, Sheen is done with the bro shit. No, I'm just, I'm just. You sound pretty tired, man. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, you know. Looking ahead and just imagining what we're gonna get in the next couple of weeks. Oh, I thought all this wonderful wrestling talk just tired you out. Well, it did that too, but you know, <laughs> we have been podcasting for three hours. And don't forget, I did like an hour and a half, two hours, like two days ago. Yeah, I wouldn't even. I know you invited me, but I wouldn't even near a computer. I was out with my kids. Yeah, I hear that, man. Yeah, that's my week. Since I'm working so much during the week now, and I get home till like six, so they're about going to bed an hour after I get home. So, yeah, I hear you, man. I just had my finals. Believe me, I'm, I am, I'm up there. I'm tired as well. So my weekends are for hanging with my kids, and uh, that's what I'm doing. So, it's good shit, man. It's good. Yeah, my, yeah. 
I'm putting my shoes back on because I can feel the show coming to a close. The show is about to come to a close in 30, 29, 20, oh, shit. 27. Oh, shit. <laughs> is there anything else you want to talk about before we close it out, though? Uh, I don't know. I didn't. Do you have any more news? I, I mean, like I said, there wasn't. It, it was just a bunch of bullshit. And ah, dude, it's it's gonna be slow the next couple of weeks. Well, so you, well you're you're actually gonna get a couple of uh, audio blade jobs in the next couple of weeks because oh, probably gonna be bad. You might get a lot of uh, lucha underground talk. Um, can can we do another audio blade job though? I like I like talking about the old school hardcore matches. Let's do another yeah. one of those. Yeah, we can do that. Matter of fact, we should make it just some old school hardcore matches like that. Yeah, let's do it, man. Are we gonna do like a like a year end kind of awards, like best of match, you know, shit like that? Maybe we should save that for next year. No, oh, let's do it this year, man. Why not? I guess we could do something like that. We could make something up real quick. Yeah, I actually I was I was working on it, so I got some names down. I'll work on it, send it to you, add some people to it. Well, you could have told me you already started working on it, then I wouldn't oh. have said no. Yeah, well, I literally just started today. But oh, well, yeah, that I don't mind one bit. It'll like it'll t it, you know what? It's probably the best thing because it'll fucking uh oh, audio bro jobs. There um, you go. <laughs> audio bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ! God damn this chat room. Uh, <laughs> what uh? It's, it's going to be slow anyway, so, you know, that'll, that'll take a nice portion of the show. We're going to need something to kill time. Otherwise, we're going to have to, like, play matches and do commentating or something. No, we'll, we'll do that next week. We'll come up with uh, some categories. We'll put it up on Facebook. I don't know if, you know, maybe we can put up a poll or something. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Maybe we'll just pick it. Maybe we'll be selfish. Who knows? Yeah, I don't know, but we'll, uh, we'll definitely read it on air and, yeah. That sounds good. Like I said, we're probably going to need it because it's going to be pretty fucking dead. We're going to have to do something. Yeah, no TNA. Um, Lucha I haven't watched. Uh, WWE is going to be slow. So Maybe I'll um. Maybe I'll grab Jericho's book and read, read passages from it. Oh, God. <laughs> Please don't. I was actually making fun of Jericho doing that on his podcast. Did he? Twice. God bless you for continuing to listen. Oh, I uh, dude, I got a fast forward button. Nice. Uh, I bet you you put that to use. I got a fifteen second fast forward button. I use the shit out of it. No, I do too. Why are we getting more viewers towards like the end of the show? Why the fuck? Uh, it's late. Who cares, man? Join more the merrier. Join in, folks. Join in, folks. Tune in sooner, you bastards. I wish they would chat in the goddamn thing in here. What in the in the YouTube thing? Yeah. Yeah, that would make it a lot easier. That would make it easier, but I don't know. I'm sure there's. I don't know how we can get people are, over here. Are people still listening, uh, like through the stream? Also, I don't think they're. Oh, you tuned out. Is anyone tonight? Let's hang in for a few more minutes. Yeah. Give me one. Again, loading up, going into the control thing. But then I won't do it, and I'll get people bitching about it. No, I'm I, I'm sure a couple of people are. No. 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 Looks like they're all on YouTube. There you go. Well, it's been a show. It's been Tuesday. It's been another hot tag, motherfucking podcast. Yeah. 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 The big guy. Yeah. Speaking of the big guy, man, did you hear his uh interview? Which one? Oh, with um, he did like a three-minute interview where he uh, he was talking about punk. Where was that? Um, it was a couple days ago. It was on like a, I don't know. It was on like a sports radio. No. And, uh, he basically said like CM Punk is basically trying to make everybody feel bad for him for walking out, and if he was such a tough guy, he would have actually approached them, and none of that none of that is true. And if he was stiff, he wouldn't be getting a push and, you know, wouldn't have a job with the WWE, which, I, you know, it's like, I can't blame the guy for standing up for himself, but, you know, 
once they've told you to take down your tweets and stuff, man, just leave it alone because you're getting a push right now. You keep doing this type of shit, you're gonna you're gonna be on main event jobbing out to fucking Los Matadores and shit. Well, no one wonder when uh, Ryback's losing to the Bunny in a week. What's going on? <laughs> there you go. You have the explanation. <laughs> Yeah, that would definitely be an explanation of what's going on. Yeah. Well, let's get the fuck out of here, man. All right, I guess we can. We already got our plugs in at the beginning of the show, so if you want to hear them, download it. There you go. Well, we got, we can just say the Facebook. Facebook.com slash groups slash THT podcast. iTunes, THT wrestling podcast. Um, YouTube, Turnbuckle Corner. The website hottagpodcast.weebly.com. Check it out, share it, like it, motherfucker. We are forceful. You are forced to like this. Forced, yeah. You don't and, like uh, it. I will make you like this. Keep uh, people keep telling friends about it. Let people know we're uh, like I said, our audio issues are finally over. We've been using the same setup for a few weeks, and it seems to uh, be working uh, pretty damn good. Yeah, we're good to go, man. And like I said, next week, uh, Devin Moore from CZW. You know, it should be good, man. Is that going to be live, or are we going to record that? Uh, I think it's going to be live. Okay. Then do we know how he's calling in yet? Well, we'll talk I don't about know, that. man. We, we just go balls in, dude. I don't know. Balls in? Yeah. Deep as hell, motherfucker. Deep as hell. There you go, man. <laughs> yeah, bro. There you go, bro. All right. This has been a fun bro tag broadcast. This has been. Thank you, Boxman, for joining me, and thank you for everybody for listening on a Tuesday night this late. Greatly yeah. appreciate it, man. Thanks for staying awake and uh, showing up. Yeah, and my apologies for anybody that was looking forward to the show last night and to Boxman for driving to the office while I fell asleep in my uh, comfortable bed. It was cool. I had to pick up. I had to grab a printer cord anyway, so I came here, grabbed the cord, and I waited about 30, 35 minutes, and then I was like, "Yeah, he ain't even answering me. I'm getting out of here." Oh, well, you you got my number, man. Should just called me. I texted you. Yeah, but I text, man. I can't hear that. Well, I don't. it's like a little beep sound. I, I'm, that's not gonna wake me up. Well, change the fucking sound. I'm I'm actually if we ever do it on a Monday on a on a late night edition, I'm just gonna start putting an alarm on. At like uh, eleven fifteen. That way, if I fall asleep through Raw, I can still do the show. All right, that works for me. But uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. This was this 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 was this was fun. I'm. It's kind of rough for me to do it on a Monday night because I got to be up early the next day. So yeah, same. Most yeah, yeah, same with me. <laughs> yeah. So we probably should stick to Tuesdays for a while. Right now, it seems to be working fine. So. Yeah. But uh, yeah, next week we'll do uh we'll do like a. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll save it for another week. Maybe we'll save it towards the end of the year, like the last last week of the year. The what? And do the you know, you know like the best matches awards and all that kind of shit. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, we can post it and give them a couple weeks to get it done. That's not a problem. Yeah, we'll figure it all out, man. Thanks for joining us, and we'll be back next Tuesday. All right, y'all. We'll see you next week. See ya. Pack your ass, my good man. Time to kick back, take some biz, and smoke some weed. Woo! Yeah!